Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back today for another live stream. I've been meaning to stream some incursions, and I looked at it today, and I was like, oh, it ends in 19 hours. Okay, we, we should definitely do this today. So, yeah, I already knocked out Sector 4 and Sector 5, like, weeks ago, but I've just been putting off Sector 6, so we're going to get in there today, see as far as we can get solo, and yeah. Yo, Benji Wenji, first one in the stream. Welcome, bro, followed by Juan. We also got Taco Monster, the other Canadian Brandon, Edgar, Mr. Absorbing Man, Woj Tech, Just Thanos. What's up, guys? You are all very early. Welcome to the stream. All right. So, dude, we are going to be rocking with the seven star rank two jugs today. I think he is going to be putting in some work. So, we'll bring him. We'll bring that guy, Herc. And. Odin? Yeah, let's get the Odin stuff situated first. Okay. Yo, is that T Jarvis? What's up, man? What's good, big dog? What's up, man? I'm just chilling. Gotta get these incursions done. You know, now that Battleground's in the offseason, you can catch up on some other stuff. What's up, Big DZ? Spooter? Smooth Fresh? Jimmy Shaker? Mika Cyrus? Jugs always puts in the work. Yeah, man. I was using the six star like for maybe it was for sector five or something, and he was he was just running through it. Okay, yeah, I think uh this team looks good. Sector six. Ah. An error starting the dungeon. Attempting to fix. I've never seen that problem pop up ever <laughs> even call it dungeons instead of incursions that's the old name huh well let's try that again uh hello okay i put us in that was odd <laughs> hey legs uh knowing you like venom have you seen the Aero fluid speakers it's like little reactive venom blob yeah dude i have seen that yeah or maybe maybe i've seen something else i've seen like they take like a sheet of plastic like put it on the speaker and then they yeah like they put like it looks like a little symbiote thing in there and then the sound waves like bounce it and move it and stuff i've seen that I, we might be talking about two different things i think we're talking about something similar though I've never heard of ferro fluid before. Maybe that's what it's called. <laughs> What's up, Robbie? You, yo, the, the goat himself. What's up, man? We got G Georgis JGR. Judge too strong for dungeons, dude. For real. What's up, Ricky? Jugs was never buffed for dungeons. You know, back in the dungeon days, Jugs sucked. All right, what are we starting with? Uh, these all suck. Uh, I guess how to combat is not terrible, but that's pretty bad. Mm. Okay, we'll start with the wasp. Pulled Wolf out the Titan, Sanjeev. Dude, congrats, man. That's a really, really good pull. Fights on Herc. Uh, okay, the passive loss. Oh no. Oh, we're stun immune. Let's go. <laughs> Herc, you go. <laughs> she really tried to heavy combo me there. Herc's like, nah. I'm immune to that. That's funny. Okay. Uh, keep building Herc up a bit. 
And then we'll get Odin pre-fights on, on Jugs too. And then we'll bring Gallon in and get Herc teed up as a Herald. That's the plan. Dude, there we go. Like now that your bud Andrew the Goat has gotten C1, are you gonna start grinding? Uh, I'm definitely, dude. I so I hold on. Let, let's start the next one and then let's talk about that a little bit more, dude. So I had no idea. If you guys don't know, my favorite color is red. Like the webcam border is red. Stream King font is red. Red's just my favorite color, right? And so that I've always liked. The, the legend title you know because it's because it's red it looks really cool these other ones are like kind of fake legend titles you know i don't think they're that cool but I, I i love the red you know i love the red but you know mythic is above legend so you know that's kind of cooler and it's, it's, it's kind of like a purple pink but the title you get for getting number one in battlegrounds dude it's red i didn't know it was red it looks so good yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get that title, dude. That title just it's got the drip. I'm gonna need that for sure. Definitely. As soon as I saw the title, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I need to get that. <laughs> um alright, we're gonna get the other Odin. Six star counterpart. Okay. Yo, what's up, Casey? What's up, Delta? Uh, a Marjeet. Try and hope for a defensive cascade cheese. I just sold on in combination with some other nodes. You can just unlock forever with Herc. I don't really like doing that. Um, let's definitely get crit, right? Yeah. I don't fight the enemy. Quick question, who would you say is the better champ? Silk or Spot? Ooh. Um I definitely like Spot more. Um, that's a tough one. Um, I I would say Spot's a tiny bit better. Just because he's a, a defender, you know, whereas Silk is not really a defender. I say that gives Spot some extra points. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I'd say Spot edges her out a bit. Spot if Max Sig, yeah, that that is true. Unduped, I'd say Silk's way better, but uh, yeah, duped. I think I, I give the edge to Spot personally, but I am very biased to Spot, so you know, keep that in mind. I have a rank three Spot. <laughs> He's my my top champ. Been hunting Bullseye out of the 6-star featured so far. I've got a uh, White Tiger and Kushala and no other. Damn, dude. How many times have you pulled those two? My last three 7-stars have been Sassy, Shuri, and Danny. Took Danny to rank 2 already. She's my new favorite mutant. Would you rank 3 her? Jacob, that's uh, interesting. Someone in my alliance. Or, or was it... I don't remember where I was. It was either online or Discord, but I was having a conversation... And we we're talking about rank threes, and and I, I think it was Discord. I think it was bitter. And you're saying if he gets mutant from uh, from 8.4, he's gonna go for Danny. And personally, I would never rank three a Danny. Uh, I just don't like her a ton, and I want to be ranking defenders. Whereas Danny is definitely not a primarily a defender. She can be an all right one i mean she is a boss in winter of woe but i mean you know so is Aegon, and he's not a defender but um if you really like danny then yeah man you can totally go for it rank three here um personally it's not something i would do or recommend but at the end of the day it is your account you can rank anyone you want dude you gotta if you really like her she's like your favorite champ like yeah take her up you'll have more fun playing the game at the end of the, at the end of the day it's a game we're supposed to be having fun so yeah absolutely rank who you like 
Yo, Morgan Rocks. What's up, dude? It's number five. Yo, Legs. How's it going? Dude, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Thank you so much for the five. Let's get you up here, my stream king. There we go. Appreciate the five, everybody. All right. Okay, let's get this, uh, let's get this Danny done. I'm gonna put the Gallon profile on her. We are. Just, uh, just getting Odin's done first. I'm probably gonna leave Gallon on the team until I need to really take him off, so. Do him after the Odin's. See ya. <laughs> uh, dude, Jugs is gonna be ripping through this, man. We need we need to focus on getting good hacks for Jugs. That's what we gotta do. Gotta team him up. Uh-oh, please don't go untouchable, please, please. Spot, please, brother. Thank you. Oh, that would have been bad, dude. I mean, he just goes untouchable, we miss, he L3s us, we die. <laughs> that would have sucked. Okay. Spot is nice. How was it snowing in spring in Alberta, bro? WTF? Dude. Ah. It, like I thought winter was over like three weeks ago it like three weeks ago we had a week and it was like sunny like the whole week man it was so nice the snow had all melted and then it snowed and then it melted and now yesterday it snowed again like I, I don't I don't know man I don't know I'm ready for winter to be over it's really annoying silk fell off don't beat around the bush that is an interesting take. Um, I've just never really been a Silk player, so I can't really say if she's fallen off or not, because I was never on the Silk train. Um, yo, is that King Reaper? What's up, bro? Good to see you. Like, how you feeling about the MCC Discord? Uh, I don't know. I kind of honestly forgot about it. I, I've only talked in there like twice. Oh my god, I just ranked forward and sent in my Onslaught. He's an absolute maniac leg. Your videos really helped me with how to play him. Nice, dude. Yeah. I think he's the strongest mutant in the game. Mahalo, question, do S99 Masakura or Starkey really need dupe Sig? Um, I don't... I don't think... Well, they're all good unduped, but they all get so much better duped. You know? That's really the, the way to look at it. I I kind of wish I, I took just Stark Spidey twice. Um, because... You know, I played him so much on Duke back in the day that I was like, yeah, he doesn't need to be awakened. But that was way back in the day, you know, when I was using a five star. Now using a seven star, like stats are just different. And like an undupe Stark Spidey, he's just not critting nearly as much as he used to back in the day. Maybe because because seven star stats, crit resist, that kind of stuff. I don't know. But I think if you're going to take Stark Spidey, you should take them twice if you really want the full potential. It's fair. Thanks for the insight, legs. Yeah, no problem, man. Snowing in Ontario too. BS if you ask me. Damn, man. Ranty Silk makes a joke of rank five ascended onslaught. One special two with relic and it's done. Did over 51k points last minute. He's insane. That is pretty good. I want to try that fight. What's the secret for using thing in incursions? Just have him sig 200. Uh, the secret is just bringing him in at the correct time. Because um, if you bring him in at the correct time, then every single blocked hit that he takes is going to trigger his protection. But if you take him in too early, that won't happen. And as far as when, um, I don't know. I think like after zone 15 and sector 6 should definitely be late, late enough. Jugger God, Jugger Goat. <laughs> also, Herc 
had kind of fought, fell off. I think Herc fell off. Like, he's got any regrets after buying that Prowler bundle? Because I do. Prowler is very mid. Uh, I, I don't know. My Prowler is just sitting at rank 3 right now. I haven't really done anything with him outside of uh, the video when I got him. You know. So, it's probably too early to regret or not. I don't know. That's weird. All I've been hearing is Prowler is broken. It's interesting because I hear... It, that one or the other I, I hear prowlers mid or he's incredible like there's no in between so yeah I, I don't know yet i don't really care though until i'm done act eight and have the resources to rank him up and everything you know then then i'll decide what i want to do prowler looks busted yeah i i don't know i like i want to rank five and ascend him but Maybe I'll wait to see some gameplay first. All right, hold on. Let me catch up on chat, and then we'll back to some some gameplay here. Uh, you need eyes if you think Prowler mid is busted. Starts by his opening first drops. He did. He was. Yeah. He might look it, but he sure don't feel like it. I I, I have heard some people say that he feels like clunky to play. I have heard that. They made Prowler to be a good bullseye counter. Still pretty champ. And Legacy pulled Jugs. It was a long time ago. He's just been sitting at rank 1 on duped. Prowler isn't the bullseye counter. Uh, I don't know. It, it's really going to depend. Just we, we just need Battlegrounds to come back. Because, you know, once Battlegrounds comes back and you start seeing like 50 plus K points with Prowler fighting bullseyes and, and dominoes and stuff, then. I don't know. Or, or, or it, if that happens, then, you know, we'll know he's really good. And if that doesn't happen, then, well, we'll know that maybe he is mid. I don't know. I'm in no rush right now, though. Battlegrounds in the off season. Act date's not out yet. It's time to just chill and do some incursions. Oh, dude, you know what we need? We need um, keep it going. That's what we need. The armor break every five hits. That is what we need. Okay. Yo, what's up, Chris? Good to see you, Mr. Gonzalez. Sure, we'll heal her up a little bit. And then uh, let's apply that. Give her gallon seed. There we go. Forgot this was live. What's up, Mellow? Okay, two feet. When will Act 8 Chapter 4 be out? Uh, Wednesday. Less than a week now. Watch Zack the Sword video on his Prowler. He goes over the issues Prowler has. Ooh, okay. I'll check it out. Do we want to fight Kate? Cal drops. What about Jugs? Or, I mean, Nimrod. Polka dot power debuff. I don't think either one matters that much. Maybe we'll actually just use Gallon for Nimrod? Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna keep using Herc just to, to fully ramp him. <clears throat> but Wayne, 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 out of curiosity, what are the issues? What are what are what are Prowler's biggest issues? If you wanna share with the class.
Who are we rocking with? Kendrick or Drake and Cole? Oh yeah, there's beef, right? My friends were telling me about that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> My friend was saying J. Cole's in his prime right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, bro, just took my regen. Damn. Oh, he's almost dead. Alright, you're not taking this regen, buddy boy. No. Okay. Nim God down. Got a plat pool. I think we'll... We'll jugs this as long as we can. Yeah, I don't see a reason why we can't. Let's try. Maybe the- I don't know. Papool messes me up sometimes, it's just weird abilities. <laughs> okay, he's rooted. Ah, uh, okay. I kinda wanted to bait his special first, though. Come on, bud. Alright, there we go. Pop this, boom, boom, boom. Oh, see, he's. What was that? He's just going unstoppable or something? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. He's dead, though. <laughs> okay. Are you allowed to talk about the 8.4 beta? And if so, how was it? Uh, probably. Because I think the beta was open to anyone, but I wasn't. I didn't do it, so. Dude, this is garbage. We're re rolling. Come on. Dude, come on, 50 units for this? I guess, mm, guess we'll get that. Bruh, this is rough. Not the, not zone 25 hack so far. Eesh. Do we get two more in zone 8? Hopefully we get some good ones there. Need like, keep it going, or some buff corn, or some... Prowess one or the unblockable and the fury one. Like any of those ones would be good. <laughs> I need one of the big four. What a big sassy. Special chaos inversion. That's annoying as hell. Okay. For zone five, that's an interesting boss. Uh, fire fight Gamora. Gamora. Uh, he really relies on crits and crit damage rating, so he's very inconsistent. He can do big special two bursts if he crits a lot through it, but will be mid if he doesn't. Okay, also the champs, he's supposed to counter like Bullseye and Onslaught. He doesn't really work well. Onslaught will nuke him because of the incinerates, and then Bullseye counters his falter, so no damage. Okay, Wayne Wayne, That's, that, that all seems like fair feedback. Fair gripes, fair criticism. All right, let's finish ramping Herc. Rise bro, cooking incursions alone. I don't know. I've me and MSD are gonna do some next month, uh, but he was already done this batch. And I don't. I don't think I've ever streamed his own 25 solo push. So something new. But yeah, me and MSD are going to hit it next, next, or I guess later this month at some point. Alright, let's use some more Juggy Jug. Unstoppables now. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I'm so glad I took Jug up to rank 2. Finally, this was this is so overdue. I think we're gonna try him for this sassy as well. We just need to be careful 
of inverted controls on our special attacks. He has aggression fury too. Jesus. Okay. Let's go. Okay, come on. Come on. What? Oh, Jugs is immune, bro. Are you... Oh my god. Dude, I hate... Oh, I forgot Jugs is immune, so I dashed at him. That's so dumb. That I'm gonna die. That's so dumb. Oh my goodness. I'm just dead to this rupture, aren't I? Yep, I am. <laughs> Do I just take the L? No, I think we're gonna restart. <laughs> Dude, that's that's so dumb. I'm silly. I totally forgot. Psychic shielding's a thing. Big ruptures. Those are some fat ruptures, man. <laughs> ah. Okay, I don't think that's going to recover, so we might lose our pre-fights. Let's see if we do. Yo, what's up, Nick? I'm doing good. Uh, did we lose him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, no more pre-fights on Juggy. So we'd have to get my five-star Odin for that. <laughs> so we'd have to drop Gallon. Probably worth it. Come on, big dog. Holy crits, baby. Let's go. Holy. Ah, I broke his block. Damn it. Those are some big crits. That yo. Ah, oh, he's in right now. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna try to intercept. Dude, really? Come on. Chill. Go for it. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Okay. Big jugs. Nice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna... I think I definitely want to get the Odin buffs back on him. For sure. Um, at least that's all we lost. Restart? Yeah. User pre-fights? Yeah, that's fine. Do you still lose own Professor Sorry, or did they fix this? They said they fixed it, but yeah, it's still busted. Oh, Nick, you talking about Prowler as well? Been under me in longer fights? Once I test my rank 2, I'll know better. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Nick. A lot of people seem to be having some gripes with Prowler now. Um, do I want to take that heal? Jugs. I'll get the pre fights next zone. Heal back that game crash. Alright. You'll say it's better to rank 5 send Photon over the 7 star rank 2. Just want to know before I decide. Um. Is the 7 star unduped? Is that the dilemma? Wait, so are these going to be inverted or no? They aren't, dude. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, the thing is, I don't mind being inverted, you know? Like, I really... I don't mind at all, actually. <laughs> I'm so used to it. It's so weird being immune to it. Okay. She tickled us a bit. 
still wasn't too bad. Alright, one too many hits. That's fine. Give me a heavy. Do you even jugs? No, Larson. I really, I really don't, man. I, I use jugs. I really only ever use jugs seriously, like twice. Like I've used them here and there in battlegrounds, you know. But I, I don't really count that. The two times I actually use jugs, the first time was at the start of last year. Yeah, the start of twenty twenty three. Fraternity of Pain. I used my rank 3 jugs to knock out two of the objectives. Just using jugs. That was, that was like the first time I really used jugs. And he was so insane. It's just like a rank 3 6 star. I'll always remember that. And then the other time, and then I didn't really use him for a long time because of the whole before with jugs, there was um, a thing basically where depending on which thumb you dashed back with, you would lose your unstoppable. That's been since fixed, but before you like kind of had to dash back with your right thumb, which is very weird for me because I use my left thumb for most things in, in MCOC. So I didn't use jugs for a long time, mainly because of that. Then it was changed and I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll give jugs another try if that's changed. And then I used him for, for Necropolis. Uh, I brought him on every path, I think, mainly just for the Grandmaster for that last percentage. And I took him to rank 5 for that. And I just haven't really used him much since. Again, here and there in Battlegrounds. But now that we got the 7 star at rank 2, you better believe we're going to become a Jugs expert for sure. We're going to become a Juggy pro. Okay. Let's fight some invisible woman. Whoa. Whoa. Choo! She got the oscillate. No wonder she's so damn aggressive. Jeez. Chill out. She dead though. I say photon way more annoying on D, I'd say. Interesting. She smiles better awakened. Offensively, photon sigs makes pretty much no difference. Even in defense, you can nuke some certain awakened. Even at rank 3, faster than you can do. 6600 photon. Oh, interesting, okay. Alright, she needs a sig, not take up a 6 star. What about like a sig? Does she need high sig or like sig 20 fine for a 7 star? I use my left thumb to dash back and right thumb to dash in. What? That's so weird. I just use my left thumb for everything, dude. Except for like light attacks and light intercepts. That's all my right thumb does. Ooh, special attacks consume 20% less power. Hmm. That'd be kind of good for jugs. Let's get that. Yeah, I think 20 is fine, even sig one. Oh, okay. okay. Well then honestly, if it was me, if I had a seven star photon and I hadn't ranked the six star. I'd probably just stick with 7 star and try to get her awakened. I don't know. Thanks, buddy. You're in the minority there. <laughs> oh, I know. Are you left-handed? No, I'm not. Um, I've I've always been weird. Like, I, I finish my combos with my left thumb. Like, so, like, think about that. When you do medium, light, 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 medium. So, I start that with a medium. Start that medium with my left thumb. Go triple lights with my right thumb, and then I end that combo with my left thumb. It's just, I've always done it. Well, not always. Like, when I very first started playing the game, I, I actually struggled to to finish my combos. Or to, to not, sorry, not to finish my combos. To, to chain my specials from my combos, because I would just end my combos with light attacks. So I was just doing medium, light, 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 and then I'd throw a special. And this is back in 20... 16 it's 2016 so this is you know eight years ago back then 
those combo maybe i was slow but i don't think i was i think at that time i i was inputting it i was at least fast like i would end the combo and i throw the special like as quick as i could at the time and it would get blocked every single time like nowadays you can do that and it works but back then i my specials would just get blocked every single time so like okay w like what do i need to do differently i'm like oh medium light 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 medium okay but like i just couldn't do that with my right thumb i just I just couldn't. So that that's where the whole left thumb supremacy really started for me. And I've just kept swiping with my left thumb ever since, you know? Where's Odin at? There he is. All right. Set jugs up one more time. But yeah, I am right-handed. Seven star wing gym coming in spring cleaning for those seven star photons. You never know. Oh, then I'll just do the seven star in that case. Yeah, I'd probably chill, man. If I had the seven star photon, I would probably be chilling. I'm a left hand dasher too. Let's go, Andrew. Let's go. Man, tide of combat's actually feeling not bad, which is good. That's how I do it? Is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. Whatever what it whatever works for you. If it no, sorry, that's not what I say. If it works for you, how can it be wrong? You know, if it works for you, it's right for you. It might not be right for someone else, but you just gotta find what's comfortable for you. Uh, I was gonna use jugs here, but we're gonna be taunted if I use him, so use Herc. When is spring cleaning? End of April? Yeah, it's like April 22nd or something. I think it's like the... It'll be the third last weekend of April. I'll pull up my calendar in a sec. Cause I, think, I think I was looking at my video for it uh, last year. I think it was the 22nd. So I had posted it. Alright, let's see my calendar. So, yeah. I, I would imagine they drop on the 19th. The Friday. So that's about 13 days from right now. I, I think it would make sense for the office to go live then. Yeah, I think that's when they'll drop. Okay, we got a null. It's another fight. I mean, we could use jugs, but his gem is going to be disabled at the start. Um... I guess we can still try. Whatever. Just want to get him set up again, and we can switch Odin out next uh, next room. What's with that power? Hey, yo! What's with that power gain? Crap, he's gonna... Should I go for it? I'm tempted. I'm, I'm going for it, bro. Oh my... Oh. I didn't even need my special two. Jeez. Okay. Good stuff, Jugs. Good stuff, bud. Uh, let's go for... For was potency. Hopefully we get... Uh... Whenever, whenever you throw a special and get a prowess, that hack is so good. I'd love it. Do I rank up Undupe Jug or Dupe Ghost Rider? Definitely Jug. Can't wait for AW Compensation. Big openings coming. Yeah, uh, I mean, just uh, everyone's getting bumped up a war tier, so that's great, man. I, I love when Kabam does that. I, I think the better move would have just been canceling this season early, but... Hey, I'll take a reward bump at the end for sure. You're like, when are you doing the tier list stream? I'm not sure, Kabir. I was thinking maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday. I don't have a video scheduled. I don't have anything going on. Yeah, I think tomorrow would work really good. 
Need a Heimdall on your team? Yeah, we, we could grab a Heimdall. Um, all right, we're gonna get some hacks in this room, so that's good. Um, I think we'll go X23. Yeah. All right, so let's make a swap. Uh, Legs, you're not picking up the Prowler, Prowler bundle, eh? I already did, Lorson. Got a video on it. Um, yeah, I took the six star just to, to rank three for now. Um, who do we want to bring in? We could bring Heimdall. We could also just bring in, like, someone else. Um... But yeah, we can just bring Heimdall for the time being. Until we need to make another swap. Okay, let's go. What buffs do you have now? Uh, we can take a, take a quick peek. And we're going to get two at the end of this room. So right now, I got Tide of Combat. Which is whenever non-damaging non debuff expires, we have a 50% chance to gain a Fury buff. Which is a nice Fury buff. Uh, and then we have Attribute Boost Multiplier. So your Striker Gauge fills oh actually i didn't know that part your strike gauge fills passively that's nice and the attribute boost hack nodes have their potency increased by 150 percent if the attacker has a relic quit potency increased by 300 percent instead wow the wow i didn't realize relics boosted that so much okay that's better than i even thought cool of course jugs don't need the specials his hockey is insane true bro is definitely a do you, you know who jugs reminds me of if juggernaut was a, a one piece character i think he would be douglas bullet who's the the villain in the one piece stampede movie bullet just gives me jugs vibes they they just give me the same type of vibes like just a really big badass dude that you do not want to mess with and that is just a monster that, that's the kind of vibe that's the vibe i'm talking about keep it going hacks underrated dude that's one of the best hacks for sure i love that one every 10 hits you get like a fat armor break so good Man, we're, we're hitting so hard right now. 100k on that second hit. Holy crap. 14 second fight. Not bad. Not bad. Now guys, just imagine if we get strategic movement with Jugs. So he'll have his unstoppable. Then he'll also have unblockable. And more fury. <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby. Alright. Yeah, if we can jugs it, we're gonna jugs it. I think from here on out, <laughs> I think that's gonna be the rule of thumb. If we can't jugs it, we'll hurt it. Oh, hold on. Let me wait out that healer hide. Let's just, just get a little bit of healing. Okay. Okay. Dead. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, do you want Onslaught most out of the Titan? Uh, Alex, let's talk about that a little bit. So, we're going to have a little Titan talk. I love talking about Titan crystals stuff. Actually, oh, guys, we're going to we're gonna have a poll, actually, too. Let me make a poll here. Because I'm curious how you guys feel. Do you like the Titan crystal system? Yes, no, um, I preferred the way star. Feature words. Uh, okay. Well, let me change these. Love it. Hate it. For the way of the six star feet, which is just the way six stars is. Okay, let's see. All right, but uh, the the current Titan. Is this on the right thing? Uh, so, 
I would say my most wanted... Like, I, I want Onslaught, of course. But, like, I, I just don't think he would be the number one pull for my account. Because, you know, like, if, if we look at my account... I have Onslaught already at rank 5, SIG 200, Ascended. You know, like, I already have a big Onslaught. So I don't exactly need a 7-star Onslaught. You know, like, the only way a 7-star Onslaught would even be better than the one I already have is if I take him all the way up to rank 3. You know, then... He, that would start to eclipse this 6-star rank 5, 6200 Ascended. So, like, I don't feel like the 7-star Onslaught would be the best pull for my account. I feel like the best pull for my account right now would probably be the Doggo or, or Bullseye. Uh, because I have full intention to rank 3 these champions. And so if I rank 3 them, you know, I want them to be Awakened. So, Onslaught's kind of like my most wanted pull, but I think the best possible pulls for my account would be a Bullseye dupe or a Doggo dupe. Uh, or a New Red Skull. A New Red Skull would be really, really big. Um, he would probably be my next tech rank 3 if I pulled him. So, yeah, Red Skull would be really sick. Alright, let's see. Wow, Love It is actually winning right now. That is surprising. Because when, you know, Seven Stars started, when they launched last year, you know, the, the Titan Crystal system was just hated on early on. It was just so many people throwing shade at it, uh, not liking it. And when I first heard about it, I was like, wow, this is totally new. It's 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 separate shards. When I when I pull a seven star you know, I get I get different shards for a different crystal that has new seven stars in them. I, personally, I love it, dude. I, I just love when I dupe seven stars, when I get stupid SIG 40s and SIG 60s, and it pisses me off, you know. At least I'm getting Titan shards towards my next Titan crystal. It makes it not sting as bad for me. Uh, that was a big thing for me. Just because, like, when six stars came out, man, I was pulling SIG 40 sentries, SIG 40 yellow jackets, and it just, it just pissed me off so much. And, like, I wasn't getting Titan shards, you know? I was just, I think we were just getting, like, what, six-star shards for that? Or we weren't even getting shards, so... Yeah, personally, I really, from the start, I, I had a good feeling about the Titan system. And I feel like, in practicality, it's been really great. Um, the only thing, my only gripe, I would really say, is that I wish we... Well, actually, two things. The first thing being, I wish we could control, uh, I wish Caban would give us a little bit more control with who enters it, like they did like when, at the start, you know, we voted for six champions. I'm not saying we have to vote every time, but if we could have some votes for, because I mean, like every time there's new champs added, there's usually two spots. So if we could vote on those spots, I think that'd be really cool. Maybe I should bring that up to Kabam. But I say that's one of my gripes with the Titan system is just that Kabam, you know, kind of has been making executive decisions and putting champs, you know, like Cersei and Thing and Jabari Panther, you know, which is not exactly what everyone wants to pull out of a Titan, but they also put in, you know, champ like Spider-Ham, who's actually one of the best in here. But, you know, I would say on average, they've added more crappers than bangers to the Titan pool of, you know, Kabam's picks. So I feel like if we had a little bit more trust of that. And then my only other gripe with the Titan system, uh, no, this, this isn't really a gripe. It's just that last year for the banquet event, we saw Titan selectors or Titan Nexus or something. Basically you could just pick any champ that was in the Titan for the year. I really hope we see that as an earnable reward. Uh, and not just a whale only reward. I'd say that those are my only real gripes with the system. I'm not in the poll, but majority of people are loving it. So that's good to see. Uh, yo, JJ sent over two. Uh, much love from the UK, brother. Read last, please. Oh, for sure, JJ. Let's see. Where's your last, buddy? Here we go. Uh, did you see Brian's vid with Sassy? That was some crazy stuff. Got me rethinking every rank up I've ever made. Wait, is this a new one? Hold on. Oh, 
When was this uploaded? Wait, which... I'm not seeing a, a sassy video here. Or are you talking about like his old, old sassy video like in Realm of Legends? I, as I have seen that, it's been a while though. But yeah, I'd love some clarification. But yeah, man, Sasquatch is just... I love that guy. And Brian really opened my eyes to, to how good Sassy can be on attack. That's for sure. Yo, what's up, John? Good evening to you as well, my friend. Uh, they advertise it as a, way of, uh, as a way of allowing us to focus on one pool over another, but the crystals have two separate resources, so that's not quite accurate. Aside from the promotion, I enjoy it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. The fact that Kate knew there was a seven star, but people said, nah, damn community really fumbled there. Yeah, but I mean, the community, dude, the, the funniest thing about all of that, dude, I, 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 I think it's so funny that not with the skill one, but with the mystic one, you know, like the whole clairvoyant, Black Widow clairvoyant debacle. If anyone who doesn't know, when Kabam did votes for the Titan pool, the initial Titan crystal pool, they did it class by class votes. And so Kate Bishop was in the skill one and she didn't win. So we could have had some sort of Kate. But in the mystic one, originally they had Black Widow clairvoyant listed and Jugs was in there too. And Black Widow was winning that vote, dude. So we almost didn't get Juggernaut as a seven star. We almost didn't. We wouldn't have. But Kabam decided, nah, nah, nah. We're, we're going to step in. We're going to intervene. Black Widow Clairvoyant, she's too powerful. She, 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 You guys are not ready to have her as a seven star. She's too much. She's too powerful. We are making the executive decision to omit her from the vote. And so many people were pissed. Oh my God, Kabam. What are you doing? You saw that she was winning. You changed the vote. Rigged, rigged, all this stuff, right? And then Juggernaut wins the vote. And now we have one of the most broken seven stars in the entire game. All because Kabam didn't want a seven star Black Widow clairvoyant. Like, when I think back, that's so funny. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> Maybe it's just funny to me, dude. I don't know. I, I think it's really funny. But, yeah, I would much rather have Jugs and uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. I'll tell you that. I was fuming. <laughs> Man. Kabam! They always, they always keep you guessing. You never know exactly what they're gonna do. Should I just go for it? I feel like I should. I'm gonna YOLO. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. We should not have gone forth, dude. Why did <laughs> Am I dead? I might bleed out. We could be in trouble. Don't die, Jaggy. Oh, that hurt. Are we dead? We're bleeding. Oh, the bleed's not doing that much, though. No, dude, he... Uh, that was my own fault. I... Delayed that. Okay, we're still alive. Okay, good. Uh... Oh, yeah, we got our hacks here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes, we got perpetual offense. That's the one. That's the prowess one. We got prowess potency already. Number two. Okay, this one's not quite as good, but... Get this one. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, JJ sent over another dollar. All right. Specification here. Am I tripping? I watched a vid of him taking on Roll Wolvie with a seven star sassy and staff focus. And I watched it yesterday and now I'm starting to worry. I'm losing it because it's not there. Um, I think, I think Brian might have revisited sassy as a seven star, but I think it was a while ago. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick here. Or right, let me just look. Look up on his Sasquatch. On oh, Brian's YouTube, let's see here. Was it called Breaking Damage Limits? Maybe, I think this was 10 months ago. I think that's it. 
Here, let me open up um, this monitor so you guys can see too. Um, yeah, so Brian made this sassy video three years ago. This was ages ago. This was way before, um, you know, I was on the sassy train. I used to not, not rate Sasquatch that highly as a champion. This was also before Battlegrounds had come out though, so, you know, a lot of change since. But then, yeah, then he revisited Sassy as a 7-star about 10 months ago. So I'm guessing this is the video you're watching, JJ. Um, and it's a great video. It's a great video. Alright. You do not YOLO against Platpool? <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we know going forward now. We know going forward. You don't skip draining degen? Wait, which one's that, Larson? Did I skip it? Oh no, we got a Doom boss? What the heck? Yo, Legs, huge fan. Would love a shout out. Yo, Ace Aaron, what's up, man? Thanks for the support. Yo, was that Seifasi with a raid? What's up, Seifasi? Where were you streaming, man? Trappy has a new Sassy Rain 3 vid. Yeah, I, I saw that on my YouTube feed. I haven't watched it yet, but I, I did see it. Yo, is that Darth Ghost? What's up, buddy? Granted, the raid is just me, but it's still a raid. Yeah, dude, it's still a raid. As long as you were streaming. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, what's up, D Fizz? Nearly 100k views. Good for Brian, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's a... It's a cool thumbnail. It's a great title. And it's a cool video. So, absolutely, it should have, be, it should have those kind of views. Oh, that's it. For some reason, I had it in my head that it came out recently. At least I'm not crazy. Oh, dude, I'm sure, like, YouTube, like, just put that in your feed. And, like, as it does, like, new videos. And I'm sure you just thought, like, oh, nice, new Brian video. I... You're not crazy, dude. That's... I can e very easily see how that happens. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what we're gonna do here though. Doom. It's just Footloose. Should be fine. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, okay. Oh, there's no healing. My jugs could definitely use some health. What do we got on here? That looks annoying. What do we got here? Um, yeah, that should be fine. And Wiccan, and that should be fine too. I think we're gonna bring in the torch just uh, for this room, just to torch some mystics, take some health. Oh, wait, no, I can't switch if I go this way. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, I guess we're just herking it then. Might have to herk a doom. Well. So, against Wiccan, I think as long as we don't parry, we're fine, right? Because that's where you get problems. I think we'll go for it. I think, yeah, he's dead. I think Wiccan has like reduced physical resistance, right? So like our numbers in red, I think we're doing more because of that, I think. Okay. Just doing some arena milestones and watching the basketball game. Okay, just chilling. Nice. Made Paragon last night, open uh, to try Valiant before my first whale events. Nice curd bros. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on Paragon. Yeah, if you could hit Valiant before July 4th, that'd be sick, man. There's going to be good deals there, I'm sure. Probably maybe even see 7 Star Awakening gems. You never know. I'm very curious to see what we get for Spring Cleaning. Because Spring Cleaning can't outshine, you know, July weekend. So I wonder if they're going to have more of a crappy spring cleaning and then like a, a really good July 4th. I don't know. 
Very curious to see though. Honestly, that's what I love about big sales days. Like my favorite, I'd say my favorite things about the big sales days, my number one favorite thing is just seeing what they are. Cause I usually like to make predictions as well. And it's just, just seeing them like just gives me a hit of dopamine. It's like, oh my God, what are these deals going to be? Or I'm sure I'm getting dopamine. Like as I'm logging into the game, getting ready to see those deals, like so much anticipation is built up. What are they going to be? What are they going to be? I'd say that's my favorite thing about the deals days. My least favorite thing is actually spending money. That <laughs> doesn't feel good. But I say my second favorite thing is not even like opening and making content. That I do like that. But just the whole day, like I'll, I'll spend in my office, you know, like working on my own content. But then like the whole day, I'm just watching other people, watching other people's re reviews on the deals, watching other people's openings on the deals. Like it's just, it's so entertaining. There's just so much content to consume on those days, you know? That's probably... My two favorite things about the sales days. Like, it's just a question. Will you ever make content on other games? Uh, I have in the past. I have streamed uh, Call of Duty. I've streamed some Fortnite. Um, I've streamed Smash one time. So yeah, I've definitely done some other content. And I do want to stream some Fortnite again sometime. I feel like that could be pretty fun. Nice. Okay. Should get MD from those buffs. Yep. Okay. This is gonna be fat. Oh, he didn't die. I put my phone down. He did not die. Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> After that first hit, I just kind of assumed he was dead. Bro. Oh, yeah, that prowess hack is ridiculous for drugs. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait, unstoppable or unblockable attacks gain 50% combat power rate. Or fury buffs gain 40% potency. Oh, both of those are so good. Uh, I think we got to go for the power rate, though. That'll just be more specials with jugs, faster. Plus, Herc, you know, goes unblockable with uh, immortality. So it benefits both. I think we're going to both. Fury better. Ah, oh, that is a tough choice. You take the power. Out of curiosity, legs. When the game closes, do you think you'll continue to work in YouTube? Oh, uh, that's an interesting question, and I don't really know. It really depends, you know, when that happens. If if MCOC stops in like you know twenty thirty three, I'll be thirty three years old, and you know I might have like a whole family by that point so like i i don't know you know it totally depends what's going on in my life at that point but um i, I i'll probably be making youtube videos for the rest of my life uh it's just what am i going to be making when it's not mcoc that's that's the question but i i love making content i love live streaming talking to you guys so yeah, I don't, I don't ever want to stop. Uh, you can sort of see the periods in MCC's lifespan uh, where it's really hot, it's highs and it's lows by looking at the viewership of different creators, e.g. legs, Brian Seaton. Uh, JJ, I'd say y yes, absolutely. But um, on YouTube specifically, like with views and stuff, it's, um, it usually follows a lot of the, the same trends. So to kind of, I mean, I'll just use my own channel as an example because it's mine and I can use it as an example. I can't really speak for anyone else, but um, like January, February, March are typically just like the worst part of the year as a YouTuber. Um, like some YouTubers will just take January off. Like I'm pretty sure Seton has just taken January off in the past. He's like January, that's vacation because December is by far the best month to be a YouTuber uh, because, you know, there's so many companies trying to push ads on videos and stuff for Christmas and to make sales and everything. So like everything is up, cranked up, dialed to 11 in December, viewership, money, just everything, all stats, like every year, December is always my best year. Always, always, always. Uh, and you know, there's usually also 
stuff going on in December, especially in MCOC, like, you know, the banquet every single Christmas, you know, Christmas deals, all kinds of stuff. So, like, views on YouTube, and it's, in particular with MCOC, it's just kind of natural for, for them to be a lot lower at the start of the year and a lot higher at the end of the year. Um, that's, just, that's just the way it is from what I've noticed and experienced doing YouTube all these years. You stream Smash? Wow, okay, I thought this was a family-friendly channel. Smash, yeah, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> I don't know what kind of Smash you're talking about. When's 8.4 release date? Uh, Wednesday, the 10th. Should be called Spring Stealing. <laughs> the difference was always that Spring Cleaning was only for money? Oh, and like no unit deals? Okay, let's uh, ooh, let's pick a path. Could you imagine? Uh, hey, legs the third. What does your dad do? He's a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm gonna raise my children to be YouTubers. Dude, if I had to pick uh, a career path for my son, like I'm not gonna force my kids to you know go down a career path. Like they can do whatever they want. I'll try to steer steer them in the right direction, of course. But like, if I could pick a, a career path for my son, I would be like, dude, just be a dentist. Just be a dentist, man. You'll be set up. You won't have to worry. Dentistry is one of the the best things you can get into. It makes they make so much money, dude. It's it's unreal. Fill that jugs up. There we go. I want to see you play MCC as an 80-year-old man. Oh, bro! By the time I'm 80, we'll be playing something else. We'll be, we'll be, dude. By the time I'm 80, that'll be 2080. Think about what kind of video games they're gonna have. They're gonna be so realistic. It's gonna be all VR. Oh, it's gonna be insane, dude. It's gonna be hype. It's gonna be hype. I would say MCC sees got another four years maybe more though let's see four years mm, yeah i can see the game making it to 2030 anything after that ah i don't know i'm not confident in anything after that but i i, I can see the game making it to 2030 that's like pushing it though like that's about as far as i can really see the game going if it goes on any longer than that i'll be genuinely flabbergasted who is the strongest champ in the game in your opinion it depends how you define strongest champ um i would say one of the strongest champs in the entire game is hulkling just straight up period i think he's one of the strongest champs easily in battlegrounds uh he's just so easy to use so powerful on attack tons of utility immunities packed into his kit Plus, he's an incredible defender. Like, I think Hulkling is easily one of the strongest champs in the game. Um, I think Kate Bishop is one of the strongest champs in the game. She has some of the best damage over time, period. It's cold snap passives. Like, not even 10% of the game, you know, is immune to that. She is good for, like, 90-plus percent of matchups in the entire game. All you do is perfect release special one, twice, boom, two cold snaps. They, they're dead. They melt. They die done um you know hercules is easily one of the strongest champs in the game with just with his immortality signature ability alone makes him one of the strongest so it really depends what you define as strong or powerful you know depends how you look at things um but yeah those are some really strong champs Is that because of Cam? Uh, no, Dad, but Cam is a G. Cam is the name of my dentist. December is always my best year legacy, April 6, 2024. Oh, sorry. Best time of the year. <laughs> Jeez. Gotta be the grammar sticklers. 
Uh, it's actually really interesting how you can see the economic trends coming through apps like YouTube. It seems like common sense, but still really cool. Yeah, man, it's very interesting for sure. Uh, we make a video reacting to the new BG solo rewards. Uh, I already made a video talking about them, breaking down the, the forum post. Like, do you already have plans uh, for 8.4 stream? Will you speed run it as soon as it launches or will you take it chill? So for 8.4, uh, I'm planning to stream it like when it drops. We'll do the initial completion. Uh, and then after that, we'll go raid someone. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other people streaming. I'm pretty sure MSD and Karate Mike are both going to be streaming. So probably one of those fine gentlemen. Uh, then we'll go hang out with them. You know, let them finish 100%. Watch their openings. Maybe hop on call for some other runs. Just hang out, chill. Um, get some food. And then like later that night, we'll come back do a nightly stream so there'll be two streams on wednesday and then on that second stream we'll 100 percent do a fat crystal cleanup and it's gonna be a really good time that's my preliminary plan i'm thinking right now herker titania darth i knew you were gonna say titania <laughs> yo is that vega what's up lag it's been forever since i've been able to catch you live yeah vega i feel like we haven't talked in a while man how you doing i just don't stream that much but i am trying to stream more I've been streaming a decent amount within the last week, so... Or when the game ends, it's gonna be so weird. It is, dude. I, I feel like when the game ends, though... I feel like what'll happen... Is... I would say, like, 30 to 40% of our community... You know, the community that's active, that's on YouTube, that's on the forums, you know... That we're close-knit, we're friends with each other, like, we're alliance mates, you know, like... There's a big part of this community that is like that, and I think... That's also the reason why the game is still going. But I think what will happen is when the game does finally end, like a, a big group, 30 to 40% or something like that, will all just kind of migrate to a new game. Like I feel like at least a third of the MCC community, once the game ends, will migrate to a new game together. Obviously not the entire community, not half the community, but I think a good subset. We'll probably all just pick a game and migrate to that. And I'm sure some YouTubers will start posting content on that. I could easily see that happening. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I personally kind of also would like to make content, you know, on another game. But I don't know. The only, the only game that kind of comes to mind is GTA 6. Because I feel like that is going to be the biggest game in the world, man. So I feel like I kind of want to get in on that, making content on that early. I feel like GTA 6 is going to be massive, dude. Like dad is in the chat? Yeah, man. He's a supporter of the channel. Whether it be Mythic Runs for 8.4? Nope. I'll be 100% day one. Nice, Alan. Like, since we all look to you as the MCC Lord and Savior, can you put a word to BAM for better BG store rewards for Paragons? It's a damn joke, mate. I can try, Dill, but, you know, I, I don't think it's an accident. You know, the reason why Kabam does that is to, you know, build up more, more drive to become Valiant. Um, they don't want the Paragon rewards to be that good because they want you to just push for valley they want you to spend some some units spend some money get what you need push for that make that valiant push so i really don't think you know I, I think it's all by design the way the bg store looks i don't i don't think they just forgot about paragon players you know i, I think it's intentional but yeah I, I can put in a word like we'll go for some jokes here Legs and MSD would make a crazy Fortnite duo. That'd be interesting. I think we make a pretty good MCOC duo though, dude. We're gonna we're gonna be doing some incursions when it resets together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Alright guys, you ready? Boom! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! That was a that was a 420 special attack! 420,000 damage. Oh my god. Jugs 420, bro. Yo, is that Ghost Dog 54? 
What's up, ghost dog? GTA 6 comes out next year. Yeah, which is good. I'm not like in a rush to get into another game right now, so I'm glad it's not coming out just yet. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Concussive resonance? R resonance? Resonance. I think that's how you say that. Concussive resonance. Striking the defender's block or auto block causes the attack area to be with concussion debuff. Okay. Yeah, we cannot get it debuffed. So as long as we don't hit our block, she doesn't have auto block, we'll be fine. So no blocked hits. Okay. Got it. Okay, so that means we can't ricochet or or do the bouncy intercept but that's okay she should be extremely aggressive in this first phase okay this should kill her okay there we go oh her block oh no i was unblockable oh nice Okay, that's totally fine. I'll take that all day. All right. Nice. Cool. Oh, we're already in zone 10. Okay, cool. Oh, we got the, the Fury Potency again. Oh, but do we want Stun Debuff Duration? Or we get Fury Duration, actually. Ooh, I think... I think Duration's better, because we have the Tide of Combat Fury... So I'll get 40% duration and 30% ability accuracy. It only has a 50% chance to apply. So this will increase the chance for it to trigger and increase the duration and increase the duration on Jugs' special two fury. So I think we're going to go with that. All right. Yo, JJ sent over another dollar holla. I, does that put you at five, JJ? I think it does. We're going to put you up here with Martin Rocks. I think your your money's worth a little bit more anyway, so let's get you up here. Thank you very much for all the support. There we go. Okay, JJ, let's see your last buddy. Uh, when are you planning on doing that tier list stream? Uh, if you are planning on it, uh, it would be really cool to do it live. Yeah, I was talking about a little bit earlier. I'm thinking just tomorrow. Um, I got nothing going on tomorrow. No videos planned or scheduled yet, so. Yeah, I think we'll just stream some tier list making tomorrow. Uh, probably like a little bit earlier uh, than I went live today. More like in the afternoon. And yeah, I hope all you guys come out. It'll be really fun to work on the tier list together. Because like I won't just be pulling from your guys' past comments. You know, I'll be able to talk with you live and ask. Bring up certain champions. And the I think the best thing about doing a tier list live... Will be we can make polls to just make our decisions we can literally just use democracy and decide whether a champion gets into a tier or not based off of a poll so that, I, I don't know I, I'm, I'm really excited to try doing it live i think you, on the community post that i community post that i posted uh yeah i mean let me let me pull it up it was the vast majority was saying yes yeah, it's at 77% to yes. Let's work on it together live. So you guys definitely want to see it live. That's awesome. It'll be a lot of fun. Yo, Alan, just hit over 10 bucks, dude. Uh, unit grinding has been the only thing I'm doing, and it's boring. All I got to do right now, since I don't have the revise for Necro. Uh, damn, man, I see. But, uh, hey, it's boring, but it's good for your account, you know? You're, you're getting gold, you're getting units, you're getting the good stuff. So, keep it up, man. Thank you so much for the 10. Alan, my guy. Dude, I actually really like... I don't know if any of you guys have been watching Invincible. But let's not put any spoilers in the chat, please, for anyone who hasn't watched it. But all of Season 2 is out now. I'm fully caught up. And... There's a, there's a character named Alan. <laughs> He's actually one of my favorite characters. I really like him. <laughs> so your name actually kind of reminded me of that. But man, it's so good. Incursion's Jugs goes off. Dude, Darth. I'm loving the, the seven star Jugs, dude. About time. About time. All right. What's this guy got? Conflictor, Fumes, Fisticuffs. Oh, that sounds pretty lame. What about Invisible Holman? Uh, nothing. Old Man Logan. Nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go left. You're gonna test Spider Punk. Um, 
I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm definitely more on Team Prowler this month. Uh, let's jugs. Like, do you speak French? Hasama Mama, uh, I did take French. Uh, well, let me tell you a little story. So, back when I was in elementary, um, I think it was grade four, five? I think it was grade, no, it might be grade four. Grade four, four or five. It doesn't matter. But, um, basically at that point, we had not the option, we, we were forced to take a language. Uh, but they did give us the option of which language. Well, they gave us two, two choices. So it was French or Spanish. Now, Canada, the country that I reside in, is bilingual. So that literally means anything you buy here has to be in English and French. So you pick up anything, you know, at the supermarket. You look at the back, you'll read the ingredients. It'll be in English and it'll be in French. Everything. It has to be. It's the law here. So because of that, you know, my parents are like, okay, well, you're taking French. Like, it's one of our, our our national languages. Like, take French. But meanwhile, every single one of my friends went into Spanish. So all my friends, all the people I know are taking Spanish. And I'm stuck in French by myself with lame teachers, without any of my friends. And I just did not want to be there. I did not want to be there. And so, of course, do you think I learned well? No, I didn't give a F. I did not care. I just, I hated it, dude. So that was like grade five, grade six. I took French, didn't care, don't, didn't learn much. And then like, as soon as I got to junior high, grade seven, it became optional. You could, you, you don't have to take a language. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And I was like, hell yeah, bro. I am dro I dropped that as fast as I could. Um, yeah, French, nah. The I, I do know one language, actually, a decent amount, uh, and that's Japanese. I said I probably know more Japanese than any, any other language outside of English. And that's just from watching anime, uh, mainly One Piece. Um, and, I, and I would like to learn Japanese more. I think that'd be cool, but French? I'm not interested, dude. No, I'm really not. It's ever, ever, ever since, just like being forced to do something, man. It's like it's just terrible, you know. Oh, my dad's in here saying sorry. <laughs> no, dad, it's all good. It's all good now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh god, this looks. I don't know. It's got caltrops. Okay, let's jump in here. Invincible is so lit. I'm watching episode 8 tonight. Nice, Asama Mama. It's, it's a good one, man. Get ready. I think if we spam heavies, though, we're going to be applying power drains. So, and degens, too? Wait, what? I didn't know I had that hack. Oh my god, we're hitting so hard. <laughs> Holy. Okay, you know, maybe these hacks that we have are actually pretty good. Because <laughs> they're, they are, they are working to get together quite well now. Oh, okay. We got to get this, bro. That's going to make Jugs crit on like every hit of his special too. Oh, okay, these hacks are getting good. These hacks are getting good. That's the draining degen hack. Let me take a look at these again. Draining degen. So knocking down. I don't think I ever read the full thing here. I, I usually just read like the first line. Okay, got it. Knocking down the opponent inflicts a power drain debuff on them, drawing 20% of a bar of power over 6 seconds. While this debuff is active, whenever the defender is inflicted with a power drain, power drain, special lock effect, inflict- wait, 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 wait. While this debuff is active, whenever the defender is inflicted with a power drain, power drain effect. So you apply this to them, they're, they have the power drain debuff, and then you do it again, and they have it. Then you apply a degen debuff equal to 400% of the attacker's attack rating over 10 seconds. Dude, I had no idea there was- I mean, it's in the name, Draining Degeneration. I don't think I've taken this hack very much. Either that, or I just don't read. Um, the plus an additional second for armor up active. If the attacker has a relic equipped, apply two degenerations instead. Dude, and this works so good with Tide of Combat. Because whenever a non-damaging debuff expires, aka these power drain debuffs. Wow, that's working so good together. Nice. That was totally unintentional. I didn't pick those to 
to make this happen, but we'll take it. Uh, when it, where in Canada are you located that you were allowed to take Spanish? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I'm in, I live in Alberta, and I went to a Catholic school in Edmonton. Yeah, Spanish and French. Spanish is such a great language, man. I've been learning on Lingvist. Uh, for a few months now, feels easy to understand after a while. I've never heard of that. Lingvist. Interesting. Yeah, I, I know a little bit of Spanish. Uh, <laughs> like, I know bad words, like, you know, mames and that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I can't speak it fluently. Spanish is probably the language I know the third most after English and Japanese. But, like, it's it's really not much. I wish my parents had forced me to learn a language and an instrument. They did not. It's really tough learning it now as an adult. I think the problem is just that if your kid doesn't want to learn it, like if they're really against it, you can't force them because you, you well, like you can, but it's not going to work out because if you don't want to learn something, you're not going to. And it's pretty much as simple as that. But if you do want to learn something, then it, like that, that makes it that's so, that's the biggest difference possible man like learning when you're just not interested at all is just nearly impossible for me at least but like when i'm actually interested then learning's actually like fun nice all right we healed up now Your last name is Lavalli? Yes, indeed. Pretty sick name, right? I went to Spruce Grove and we only had French available to take. Okay. Yeah, that's very close to Edmonton. Training DGen is sick for her. Use heavy to press the defender in the corner and then heavy spam. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. Alright. Let's, um... Let's jug it up. Jug it up. Oh, fudge, fudge, fudge. Chill, bro. Uh, that sucks. I must have just been slow at the start. I was trying to tap for a light. Light ski. Bruh. Thank you. Oh my god. Dude. When it crits, it does so much damage. Oh no, this is bad. We're gonna start getting auto blocked and stuff. Uh, what do I do here? Um, maybe I just toss this? Oh. Or just break his block and crit for 35k and kill him. Sure. Works too. It's a little annoying we took a fat combo at the start of that fight though. Um, I'm going to try to heal it back here. Lex, have you seen X-Men 97? Uh, no, I haven't. I never watched the the OG uh, X-Men cartoon, but I, I want to. I want to get into it. Let's bait this. And then... Pop that. And bro is toast. Bro is just toast. Okay, moving on. Cool. All right, I think we're gonna go Herc for this guy. Cause we tried Jugs here last time and didn't end too well. Let's just Herc it. Looks like we got a debuff applied to us as well. So Jugs wouldn't have been any good here. Toss this. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm I'm liking our hacks now. They're they're feeling pretty good. They're feeling pretty good. It's a myth that it's uh tougher to learn a language or instrument as an adult. 
Uh, Lorson, I disagree. I mean, I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. And, and I agree with you to an extent. But, like, learning your first la There's nothing easier than learning your first language. You know? Like, I, I speak English. I don't remember learning English. So... Like, the first language you learn is definitely the easiest. There's there's no disputing that. And I'm sure, like... Like, right as a child, if you were taught two languages, like, I'm sure you'd pick it up really quick and it wouldn't be difficult. I picked up French over the year on my own time and now I'm pretty fluent. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying you can't as an adult. I'm just saying, like... There, there's no disputing that when you're still like very young and learning your first language like that is the best time to be learning one or two like i've heard of that people teaching their kids like um two languages when they're young and and then they grow up and they speak two languages that's great i think that's really smart actually but yeah there is absolutely nothing stopping you in your adult life from learning an instrument or a language the only thing stopping you is you you are the only thing in your own way of learning whatever you like. It, it doesn't matter how old you are. You can learn an instrument or a language now. It doesn't matter. Literally. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. It, and, it, and it doesn't matter if it was easier when you were a kid or it's easier a year ago or you should have started last week. It doesn't matter. And it's irrelevant because you can't go back in time. All you can do is start today and start learning now. That's all you can do. And... And there's nothing wrong with that. Alright, I'm... Mm, what does this mini man have? Weakness, power reserve... Okay, that's fine. That is fine. What about cull? Yeah, that's all fine too. Okay, we're good. Let's get it. I'm not including a first language. But I mean, like, Lorson, like, if you're, if you have a kid, let's say, you know, three, four years old, and you're teaching them English, but your wife is Mexican, so you're teaching your kid English and Spanish at the same time, do you not agree that that would be the best time and the easiest time for that individual to be learning two languages? Because I think so, for sure. And I mean, that is your first, but it's kind of your second too. It's two and one, you know, two for one special. I think that's the, the easiest way to learn a second language. It's just when you're a kid. But most people don't have that luxury. No, dude, I got to stop starting these fights with lights. I'm just missing them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is a crossbone with no nodes and we just lost half our health. We need to get some buff cornucopia or something. Oh my god. Oh, that's so satisfying. Jeez. Yeah, my child is four years old and understands both Spanish and English in some level. Nice. Yeah, man, you're doing it right. That's awesome. That's really awesome. You're setting your kid up for success by doing that. Um, yeah, we'll go over here for, for sure. Drugs will just die anyways. Is Battlegrounds coming on Sunday? No, they start on Wednesdays. Dude, this is so OP. No! Why did I get rooted? Aw, oh, man. a bad time for roots okay we really need a team heal <laughs> all right what is this call obsidian uh, nothing i love how that iron man had like power reserve and like a whole bunch of other nodes i threw one special I'm dead Very careful and not die here. All 
Alright, pop that. Oh! Oh! That was a lot of damage. Okay. Dude, this feels like I'm cheating. <laughs> oh my god. Jugs, you are unreal, man. You are unreal. Holy crap. <laughs> Should have ranked him up sooner, dude. Uh, what's your favorite special? The Dex Taskmaster special one has been really satisfying for me recently. Ooh, Jimothy, that's an interesting question. Um, I gotta say Maestro. Maestro for sure. Because when I first fought him, like that, it took me a while to really get the hang of it. And then once I got, finally got the hang of it, I just felt so satisfied every single time I dex it, even still today. You know, I learned that like over half a decade ago, but even still, whenever I fight Maestro, and, and, and now he's like a competitive defender too, so that makes it feel even better. But yeah, just de full dexing Maestro Special 1, it just, I just feel like accomplished every time I do it. It's just a good feeling. So I'd say that's my favorite one to dex. Likes on that motivational stuff and I love it. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been trying to improve myself a lot lately, you know, so just in a, in a good mind space right now of betterment. It's the same way that gets more difficult to teach your dog tricks as they get older. It's just common sense that the older you get, the more difficult it is. Uh, yeah, I think that's totally fair, Taco Monster, but I, I think the, the important thing is for for a human anyways is to like is to not think like that like if if you're tr like let's say you're trying to to learn how to play guitar okay like it doesn't matter let's say you're tr learning trying to learn how to play guitar let's say you know you're 38 years old and you're looking up how to play guitar or maybe the first thing you search up is can i still learn to play guitar at 38 years old something like that you know if you're searching for stuff like that, you're you're already have the wrong mindset. And if you hear, oh, it, it's it's harder to learn stuff when you're older. Oh, it's it's so much harder for me to learn how to play guitar now in my 30s. Like, if you're going into it with that kind of mindset, like you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. You know, like just like just disregard that. Like you, that that type of information is not gonna help you learn how to play guitar. You know, don't focus on that stuff. Like you, you can, you can learn anything at any age, man. It, the only thing stopping you is you and your own mindset. Don't let your mind be negative. You know, if you believe in yourself, man, that that's really all you need. Believing in yourself will go farther than anyone else believing in you. And, and that's for sure. Let's heal Chugs, because he doesn't have immortality. Legs, what's up, my guy? I see you took Juggy to rank two. LMAO, it's about time, man. Dude, Faust, it is indeed about time. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Okay, finally landed the light there. Nice. Dude, we're hitting so hard just like on our regular attacks. I love it. <laughs> 24k medium crits right now. Then we go like this. And they just die. Wait. <sighs> These are 15 second fights. Oh my goodness. Ah, that feels good. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's improve yourself. Okay, we, we, we can't get hit his block or get auto blocked. Or maybe I'll just use Herc here. I'll use Herc here. Herc. <laughs> Alright, let's just be careful with Shocker. The only time Shocker gets me is when I am impatient. If I'm playing slow and steady, he never gets me. Oh wait, what? I thought he was at a bar of power. Uh, hello? Can I drain you, sir? I guess not. Alright, we're just gonna kill him then. Alright. 
Uh, Legacy, who's your favorite streamer? You are mine. Yo, Ryan Adam 52 thank you. Uh, my favorite streamer is definitely, I, I know exactly who it is. Like, I have watched, spent more time watching this person stream than any other individual on the planet for live streaming, for sure. Like, there's only one person that comes to mind. Only one. I wonder if you guys know it. Do you guys know it? My favorite streamer? I feel like a lot of you should do. Oh, uh, oops. Let's see, we got an Andy. I do like Andy. Uh, the only thing is, though, that he, you know, only recently started streaming, so... But B BG, yeah, 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 it's definitely Brian. Yeah, man. Like, I, I was watching Brian... Like, when I was still in high school. And, you know, Brian is... Brian is so underrated, like, in the MCOC community. Like, there, there is not a single other person that I know of in the MCOC community or in a different community that that is, like, is on Brian's level of consistency. Dude, Brian streams every single day every day he is streaming every like i i have gone like months of watching him every single night like it's just a part of my daily routine you know like that is so impressive to to have that kind of consistency man it's i i i respect brian so much for a lot of reasons um but that that is definitely one of the biggest like i i just respect his consistency man so impressive all right what do we have here power play that's not good that's oh that's bad um over two bars they gain protection that's not good either guys this is bad uh, okay we're gonna try with herc first I really, I'm just worried about my immortality getting like staggered. Uh, damn, we already triggered Heimdall. It's not good either. Damn, bro. Vision, come on, dog, throw it, please, dog, please, dog. What are you doing here, man? Oh no, this fight's gonna be trouble. I already know. I need to get to a special two and, and pray to God. Um, yeah, he, mm, I, I was worried. That's exactly what I was worried about happening. And of course, it happened. Okay. Um, I need to like, I, I, once he's above two bars of power, he gains protection. And I, ah, damn it. Damn, oh my, I'm fumbling this so hard. Okay, that did a lot though. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro, I don't like this fight at all. I just die. All right. We're out of there. All right. That's good. Glad Jugs is still alive. Perk, you know, we can just revive. And he's fine at uh, 1%. Jugs, we want a little bit of health. Darn, no revive here. Okay. We're going to have to Jugs this room. Alright, that's all jugsable. That's all jugsable. Okay. I think we just fight Nimrod with jugs. Yeah, we should be able to heal him up a little bit on that too, potentially. The gla the glaze is crazy. I agree 100 <laughs> percent um bg is just so fun and amazing it, uh, fun and it's amazing to be in his streams dude i think what i love about bg the most 
is is just the way his brain thinks like brian offers a different viewpoint on everything in this game like it's different than any anyone else in the community it's different than myself it's different than kabam it's different than seaton it's different than kt1 like brian offers a very unique perspective on on things and i really enjoy hearing his perspective because it's usually from a, a frame of thinking that I haven't thought of. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, when you think about it that way, yeah, that's some good points. Like, Brian's just always, man. He's always coming at it from a different angle. And I really, and I might not always agree with him, but I always love to at least hear uh, his angle, you know, where he's coming from. I love BG2. He has the best vibes. And I like watching you too, man. Love you, broski. Hey, thank you, headshot. Appreciate that. When Legacy says consistency, he means thick. <laughs> Brian is a little bit thick. I have met him in real life. You can confirm. Yo, John. What's up, buddy? Leg legend. Good to see you. It's renewal. Let's go, man. What's up, Legs? What's going on, dude? I haven't seen you in a little while. Got the Spider-Man emoji now. All right. Why was Heimdall recommended? I'm not, not using Heimdall here. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna just uh pause it. Just want some some healing. Get double healing now. Jugs was awakened, then uh, you know he'd be healing with remote power. So that weakness would be a debuff. Uh, instead of a passive, but it's okay. Oh no, that was really bad. Okay, we need to just dump this. Okay. Get some good damage. Maybe I should stick to painting these special twos. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's not die to a Nimrod. That, uh, oh no. Chill, bruh. Chill, bruh. Oh my god. Just nullified my prowess through my block. Jeez. What a jerk. That sucked. Oh my god. Okay, I think I have some potions. I got a couple. I must. Yeah, 18 in overflow. Let's use some of those. <laughs> okay. Heal back a little bit. 8.4 gonna be your awakening? Dude, imagine we get jugs out of the Nexus. Oh man. No! Oh. No, chill! Oh, okay, we're good. I thought I thought I died twice there. <laughs> Literally thought I died once. Like, oh no, I'm safe. And then I thought I screwed it up again and died twice. But no, we're we're still good somehow. Oh, I was trying to throw a special one, but okay. Alright. Okay. Medusa, please throw your special. Please. Come on. There we go. <laughs> we still doing numbers. Holy fudge. That's a 247,000 special one. 
Okay, on the blade. Hopefully there's a, a revive in uh, the next room. But let's give some more potions here. We might as well. Okay. So it's just a blade with fight or flight, power reserve, special two lock passive, and dismay. So we can't get hit. If we lose our combo, we're going to start degening. Which would be very bad. Okay, let's go. Jugs with power reserve? Oh my. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Whoa, bro. Chill. Oh no. That node uh, is gonna strip away our gem of Sidorak. It's alright though. So with power reserve, we're gonna be sp be able to throw a lot of specials in rapid succession. No, no, no! Damn it, dude! It's over now. Oh, that's just stop looking at the unstoppable for like a second, and then he got it. Do I have a team revive? I do. Okay, we're reviving. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Herc for this one. This fight, uh, yeah, hurt it. First revive, BG appreciation video coming when? I don't know. Might have to make one though now. I'm really gassing him up. He has also been uploading a lot of more videos lately. It's been very enjoyable. Nice. Yeah, Herc would have rinsed that. That jug's duped? Yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Darth saying 8.4. Well, we'll see. Oh, nice. We get some uh, some some healing here. We can probably fight Falcon. Oh, he's got Icarus. Oh my god, bro. Jugs? Oh no. We'll use... I don't know who we're going to use for that, but... It'll be fun. Team heal. Cool. Alright. Plus, Brian is a great entertainer overall. Yeah, dude. He's just a great guy in general. Yo, I caught a stream. Let's go. I'll be able to stay even if it's a 97k hour stream because it's a weekend. What's up? Yo, what's up, Real Fishy? Good to see you, man. Yeah, we'll be going for, for a while. We've got to get to zone 25. So, however long that takes. Let's do it. Bro, you're still live? Yeah, man. I've definitely been talking more than I've been <laughs> advancing through the incursions, but that's okay. I'm just having fun hanging out with you guys. I got nothing going on tonight, so I got nowhere to be. My plan for tonight is to hit zone 25, go get some food. I think I'm going to get some, some Edo Japan, so some Japanese food. Um, so I usually get like... Rice, broccoli, beef, shrimp, some teriyaki sauce, and then some California rolls sushi. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get that for food tonight. I haven't eaten yet today, so that'll be that'll be a nice big meal. And then I don't know, probably just chill after that. Legs is a C1 yapper, indeed, bro, indeed. That's always been one of my special abilities. Yapping. I prefer to call myself a conversationalist, but master of Japanese works too. Like when I was a kid, I used to think I could get out of any situation with just my words. I used to think I had a silver tongue. I also used to lie a lot as a kid. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was like a professional liar. I like, you could put me on a lie detector test, bro. You wouldn't even know I'm lying. I was so good at it as a kid. And then I, I grew up and I realized, wow, lying is so easy. The truth is hard and the truth is way better. So then I started telling the truth and life got so much better. <laughs> 
Dude, lying is, is just terrible. Because the worst part about lying is that you forget. It's, it's a lot harder to remember a lie than it is to remember the truth. Because, you know, the truth actually happened. So you can actually recall what happened. But when you lie, it's not so easy to always be keeping track of them. Legs backstory, a little bit. Lie detectors are fake. It reads your heartbeat, doesn't read your mind. People don't know. Oh yeah, I, I know that, but I mean, that's like Daredevil's whole thing. He can tell if you're lying by hearing for your heartbeat. Most people, when they lie, their heart starts to beat faster. Unless, you know, you really have, unless you can stay calm and lie. Uh, yo, John sent over a dollar. Like, dude, like, I remember watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as a kid, and, like, the first, was the first season, like, Ward, they did, like, a lie detector test, and he, like, passed it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that'd be me. I remember thinking that. Uh, but, John, thank you for the dollar, buddy. Do you have a last? Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, yo, I can't wait till season two of One Piece. John, did we get a release date on that? I was actually just rewatched. I've rewatched that first season already like four times, but <laughs> I, the reason for that is just, I've been watching it with different people, so I've just been trying to spread the word of the One Piece gospel, you know. Bro had that Na Naruto mindset. It's like, yeah. <laughs> getting Thai food tonight. I'm waiting. Uh, I'm wanting that spice. Nice, dude. I so like. There's actually like uh, in the food court at this mall not far from me. There's like an Edo Japan and it's high express um the problem is though like with ito they're both kind of expensive but if, if i actually kind of found a bit of a, a a hack on the ito menu if you get a kid's meal it's like five bucks cheaper and it's just like less rice you still get the same amount of meat same amount and the proteins what i care about you know the beef and the shrimp uh you can't the kids meal doesn't come with beef and shrimp but you can just add the shrimp so i just get a beef kids meal add shrimp it's way cheaper still a lot of food and then I just add the sushi and it's like, I don't know, like 15 bucks. Whereas if I went for like a bento box, which is what I used to get, where it's like a little bit bigger, more rice and stuff, then you get sushi and spring rolls with it. But it's like 25 bucks for all that. And then if I get a uh, Thai Express, which I prefer, it's really good, but it's also just so expensive. Like if I get beef and shrimp, it's like almost like 24 bucks just for that. No sushi, no nothing, no, no sides, no drink expensive so that's why i've actually been eating at home a lot more lately i've been i've been cook your boy's been cooking and it's it's good it's been good I, last night i had uh some bacon wrapped scallops oh dude so good i just toss them in the air fryer for like 12 minutes and they're good and man it's so delicious uh, do you want to fight Magneto, maybe? Yeah. We'll, we'll fight Maggie. Like, cook stream? Every stream is a cook stream. No, I'm just kidding. That would be, that'd be interesting if I, if I did an actual cooking stream. Cooking with legs. Legs and me the same, for real? <laughs> legs equals Usopp? Yeah, I used to. Then someday a man found out and said, you're lying, dog, and legs changed forever. True story. <laughs> I don't lie anymore. I've been trying to keep the Ten Commandments more. Love God. Oh, that's good, man. That's great. Whether you believe in God or not, it's, it's really good to just, like, follow a set of principles or values or commandments, you know, whatever it is. It's good to just, like, follow a code, whatever it is, you know, and just, like, keep yourself true to that you know whatever whatever you want it to be it can be anything but you know the person you want to be and and live by that oh my god that damage is so fat oh, bro jugs Oh my god, bro. We're in zone 17 and fights are ending in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> Alright, Jugs is not metal, right? He is not. Okay, can we Jugs this? Yeah. 
Yeah. We just can't let him throw a special. Okay. Alright, we're going to try to... Parry heavy. And then beta heavy from him. Perfect. Boom. Bop, bop, bop. Bro, we're hitting 50k attacks right now. Holy. 55k medium crits. 21 second fight. Oh, holy fudge. Uh, you use any beard products? Nope. All natural. All I do is shampoo it in the shower. That's it. Use head and shoulders. That's it. Just don't shave it. Let her grow. The hole your heart gets faster when you lie is an old wives' tale. Crack. No, I think it's more uh, just about your heart starts beating faster when you're nervous, and a lot of people when they lie, you know, are nervous or or similar emotions, you know. But yeah, if you're like a professional liar, then yeah, your, your heart's not going to start racing when you tell a lie. For sure. You into cologne, big man? Uh, yeah. I... When I was younger, like, my I, my sister bought me, like, this Lacoste cologne or something. I wore it, like, a couple times. Uh, and then, like, a year ago or something, my mom was telling me that she has, like, this, this discount at um, Shopper's Drug Mart. Uh, and they sell cologne there. So my mom used her discount to get me some, um, what's it called? Uh, Dior? So Suavege or something like that. Um, so yeah, I've had that for like a year and a half or something. And I was looking at it the other day, like the bottle's still like pretty full. So it's going to last me a long time, I'm sure. But yeah, I like to put on a little cologne when I hop out the shower, you know, smell nice and good. I would eat leg, eat food legs made. I'm sure he a good cook. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, we might actually be able to heal Herc here. I'm always up for the IRL content. All right. Air fryer can legit do everything. Best invention of 2000 so far. Screw smartphones. Dude, I, I agree. I think it is like the best appliance in the kitchen you know outside of like a, re a refrigerator like the, the best appliance for cooking like i would rather have an air fryer than an oven than a microwave than a barbecue like air fryers man they're just they are so legit they, they can just do so many things and it's it's so much healthier too than like a deep fryer you know comparatively like if you make fries in a deep fryer versus like an air fryer it's so much healthier in an air fryer all right, we got some more power efficiency, prey on the weak, uh, power overwhelming, blockable finale. Okay. Cool. Chopper's drug mark sounds like it would be behind the store in an alley. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds like that, but no, it's it's above board. It's legit. Toss one special one just to get that debuff on us so we can start healing. We're also going to be careful now because he has a pretty decent chance to evade. Just like that because of all the debuffs. Okay. Ouch. That was some hefty block damage there. We're just gonna keep hitting these special ones because it's doing two things one it's killing time and two uh it's giving us more debuffs to heal so oh we do need to watch the other node though because once he's thrown 10 specials i think something bad happens so let's bait this one okay and then Intercept him and toss this. Alright, that's lights out and 85% health. We will absolutely take that. 
All right. Better than barbecue? Blasphemy. I didn't say it's better than a barbecue. I said I'd rather have one. And that's because, Dilithius, I live in Canada, where more than half the year, it's minus 20 outside and snowing. So, you know, uh, barbecuing is more of a, a summer thing around here. Whereas an air fryer is good all year round. A great man is made by a great moral code. I've never heard that saying before, but I like it. Uh, if you could design one Marvel champ, who would it be? What abilities would they have? Synergy, etc. And why that champ? Ooh, what hacks do you have right now? Uh, hold on, pull that up while we talk about this. Here's the hacks. So if I could design any champ and bring them into MCOC, it would be Spider Carnage, which is essentially a different Earth where uh, Spider-Man bonded with the Carnage symbiote and never took it off. So it's Peter Parker with the Carnage symbiote. So that's a champion I'd love to bring into the game. Uh, I'd probably make them a cosmic champ. Um, and I would give this champ sick abilities. I would give this champ some regen that you'd maybe have to work for. But if you played with some skill expression, you could, you could get regen. You could get a ton of damage, big armor breaks, big big armor breaks maybe when you intercept or something um definitely some buffs maybe some permanent ones through some specific rotations and maybe some special threes to increase and lock them in permanently um yeah i don't know i'd have to really sit down and think about it but uh spider carnage is my most wanted champion in the game and just i think one of because like spider-man is my favorite marvel superhero and Carnage is my favorite Marvel super villain. So, you know, to have Peter Parker with that Carnage symbiote, it's just like the coming together of my favorite hero and villain in one. Like, it's just, I just really want to see that character in the game someday. And if I could help design it, oh my God, that'd be so cool, dude. That'd be so sick. Like, he's got the most masculine hair growth, I swear. I, it's just, Honestly, I, I I credit it to my my genes. I think I just have really good genes. Like my entire life, like guys, you, you know what I look like. Like I, I probably look like a skinny tall guy, right? For the majority of my adult life, I have sat around on my butt being super lazy, you know, not exercising, not moving, spending majority of days sitting down or laying down, eating all kinds of junk food, eating all kinds of takeout for like the last five years. My diet, like if anyone else had my diet, they would be 600 pounds overweight. Like I, I, I honestly, I and, I and I have, I'm actually at my heaviest weight I've ever been at now. Like it's finally starting to hit me a bit, but like I have lived a very unhealthy lifestyle, which I'm, which I'm changing, mind you. I've been doing a lot better lately, but like I have lived a very unhealthy life. And yet, I don't feel unhealthy. I don't look unhealthy. Uh, my hair grows really fast. Whenever I get hurt, I heal really quick. Like, I, I just credit it to good genetics. Like, honestly, I think I was just blessed with good genetics. Um, and that's why my, my I have no problem, like, growing a beard. <laughs> I really just think that's it. Just got blessed with genetics. Won the genetic lottery. Uh, prove yourself in fisticuffs. Didn't we like already have this? And Lazarus. Okay, no, we didn't have that. That's fine though. It's gonna be a Herc fight. Um, what about Iron Man here? Power, more power reserve. Yeah, it's, this should be fine too. Let's go. funny part is that an air fryer is a glorified oven. <laughs> Kinda. Is the air fryer hype real? I'm sick of hearing about it, but I could be swayed. Air fryer hype is definitely real. Those things are magic. Dill, let me just put it kind of into perspective. Like, so an air fryer, it's just, it's, it's versatile. Like just about anything you can think of, you can cook in there. 
Um, like I've cooked steaks in there. They turned out great. Cooked chicken wings in there. Cooked, made soft pretzels in there. Just last night, cooked bacon wrapped scallops in there. Like the, the list goes on, man. You can get very creative with it. And even if you might think like, how would I cook that in the air fryer? Like they have special things. Like for example, if you want to cook like an egg in an air fryer, like they have a little special container to break the egg into and cook it in there and put it in there. There's like all kinds of special little tools and stuff to cook different things little like attachments gizmos like air fryers are just awesome dude i they're 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 so simple like if you're not chef ramsey it just makes cooking a lot easier for your average joe like me uh you know i'd love to be like gordon ramsey but hey we all start somewhere you know and i think an, cooking with an air fryer is just a really good way to start cooking especially if you're younger you know and you want to start making some food for yourself it's just a really 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 good starting point is that MSD? A great man is certainly made by a great moral code and strong moral compass. Metal Sonic dude. Good to see you, buddy. Ah, how you doing, bud? We were talking about you a little bit earlier. Um, I'll give you a fair point due to technicality of weather. Okay, thank you, Dilithius. <laughs> What do you think about Mexican food? Oh, dude, I love Mexican food. It's so good. I had, uh, I stayed with my Mexican friend in California in 2021 for a while, and uh, he brought me to a, an authentic Mexican taco truck. So it was the first time I actually had like real Mexican tacos, and those are the best tacos I've ever had, dude. That was the, actually the first time I ever had guacamole. Uh, <laughs> in 21 years of my life i had never had an avocado never had guacamole never um those tacos were, were so good dude oh man still snowy in canada here in iceland we finally had some good weather recently so the, the weird thing is that like about two weeks ago all the snow was pretty much gone it was really sunny for like a whole week and then it snowed again and then it started to melt started to get nice again and then it snowed again the other day it's really annoying but yeah, hopefully it's done soon. Have an awesome night, my friend. You taking care? T you, you heading out, John? Take care, man. If you are, thank you for uh, renewing the the membership. I really appreciate it, my friend. Okay, now now legs and I are the same for real, for real. Let's go, Icarus. Uh, and then you're not. Sorry, Dad. What was that in response to? Sounds like you're Wolverine to me. Um. I don't know. I just had a, a really good metabolism. I also, I think a big reason why, you know, I ate so unhealthy and didn't gain weight is because like I was eating really bad, but I wasn't eating like a ton, you know, like I'd have one meal a day. Like let, let's say that one meal a day is McDonald's. So, you know, I have one meal, it's McDonald's. I get like a burger, fries, nuggets, some pies. So that's my one meal. And then I don't eat any other meals for the day, but I'll eat like a, a bag of chips and like a whole pack of candy or something, you know? And like that would be what I consume for a day. So, you know, it might not be the most on the calorie scale, but like on the unhealthy scale, like it's maxed out. <laughs> I did that for a very long time. And it's it's starting to show like I, I weighed myself and I was at like 191 pounds, which is surprised me uh so yeah i've been eating a lot better lately i kind of like stopped really having junk food like i've just been trying to eat, eat like healthy alter alternatives like like beef jerky and like peanuts and stuff yeah trying trying to do better eat better look better feel better 2024 is the year of improvement for me when I, but how tall are you? I'm six feet tall, so you know it doesn't really, the weight doesn't really show. Cause I'm tall. I forgot what the nodes are here, but I think our special two. It's gonna nuke them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. No need to worry. I like was born with good stats, yeah. I like just got the gene stat focus, signature ability, advanced beard growth. <laughs> oh man. 
If anyone has trouble growing a full beard, I found a 50-50 mix of avocado, avocado oil and peppermint oil works well for promoting growth. Interesting. Legs, you watching Oilers vs. Flames? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, man. That's gonna be a great game. Do you think Kate is too strong? Did we get lucky with the rebalancing coming before Necro? I feel like maybe skill balances her power and fight control. Oh, 100%, dude. I think Kate's too strong. 100%. Yeah, 100%, bro. I think... um. I, I think and I think what makes her too strong for Necro, uh, I think if she just didn't have this synergy here with um, with Chavez, I think if she didn't have that synergy, I don't think she'd be nearly as busted, especially in Necro. Um, but like this just gives her like fifty percent more, more than fifty percent, like more power, because like she what this synergy does, you know, you can stack a max of two of your effects. With the synergy, you can add another one. So, you know, you go from your cap being two cold snap passives to three, like that exponentially increases your damage by so much. Plus, you know, that applies to all of her trick arrows. So if you're getting the other stuff up too, um, like you're, you're also just making these new cold snaps that much stronger. And now you have three of them. Like, it's just, it's unreal. Uh, so I think that synergy is a, is, is a bit much. Um, and, and yeah, I, I just think Kate is extremely sh powerful and strong. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know, man. What do you got? Let, let's make a poll. Let's make a poll on Kate. Rate Kate Bishop. All right. All right we're gonna, how many how many options can I add here? Only four. Okay. So the first one's gonna be. Uh, we'll do way too strong, a little too strong, strong but balanced. Um, what should the last one be? I don't know. Needs a buff. Needs a buff. Okay. Let's see. Where you guys rate Kate at? What do you mean you never had avocado in 21 years? I just never ate the food. I mean, I've I went that long without trying a couple different things, you know. I really want a professional chef when I grow up. I love cooking, and I already well, I want to be a professional chef when I grow up. I love cooking, and I already make a banger grilled cheese. I'd love to be a good chef. Plus, I'm half Mexican, so I'm fire immune, dude. Real fishy gamer. I I really hope you stick with it, dude. I think being um, a chef is a really good career path because. Cooking in and of itself is such a useful skill, and it will, that skill will be with you and will be useful to you your entire life. Your entire life. That's a great skill to have, man. Keep it up. Keep cooking. Stick with that, man. If you, especially if you like it. Like, do you like rice or noodles more to go with protein? I like both. I like to mix it up. Uh, like like I was saying a little bit earlier, uh, at the one of the places I get food at, the Japanese place, Ido Japan, uh, there I prefer to just get rice with my broccoli, beef, and shrimp. And then uh, opposed to when I get Thai Express, I get a Pad Thai. That one I get noodles, beef, and shrimp. And oh, I, lo I love both. Um, so yeah, it really just depends. I like rice and noodles. I, I like to mix it up. I like variety. I don't like to like always have the exact same thing, you know? And sometimes I do, like sometimes I can eat the same thing like every day for like a week, you know, if I'm really liking it, but then I'll eat too much of it and then I won't want to eat it again for like two months, you know, it just, it just depends. I'm kind of weird. What? Six feet? Nah. Yeah, I'm six feet. I mostly snack on jerky and nuts. Dude, the, the what sucks is I'm, I'm I, can, I can have peanuts, but that's only because those aren't actually nuts. They're legumes. 
Um, but I've been allergic to tree nuts like my entire life, you know, so that's like pistachios, um, almonds, cashews, walnuts, like all those I've never had before. And they're full of protein, you know, and I and I'm sure they taste great too. And they're always in cookies at Subway and stuff, you know, and I and I just can't eat them. It sucks. Yo, are we getting a dementia dreaming raid? Yo, what's up, man? What's up, legs? Can we sub out Herc for Vox? We cannot. My Vox is rank one, level one, unfortunately. Has a six star. 190 with that height is not that much. Oh yeah, I know. But like, let me let me show you guys something here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go away from MCOC for a sec here. Uh, oh no, never mind. It's on my other phone. Um, I can grab. It's my... gonna show you guys all my my stats on like my on my uh, my scale app. So you can see my my weight and stuff. Maybe we'll do that at the end. Hold on, I gotta, I'm trying to catch up on chat. I'm already so far behind. Uh, hold on, let's see how the 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 poll's looking. Wow, I I don't I I don't believe this. Strong but balanced is winning, bruh. Guys, there's no fear of Kate being nerfed now. It's too late. She's past the point of rebalancing. She's not gonna change. You don't have to vote out of fear. There is no way Kate is balanced, bro. I, I, ain't no way she is a balanced champion. A little too strong? Sure, sure. That's as far as I'd be willing to go. But balanced? Bro. You throw one special one, you get a passive cold snap that does a ridiculous amount of damage. They can't evade that you can pause and refresh like who else what other champion can do that <laughs> like no one it's just her it's, it's you're exaggerating legs I, I i don't think so Let, let's let's talk about her for a sec so she has incredible block proficiency incredible damage incredible utility all with one special one and her skill expression is perfect releasing which you can actually slow down time to do you really think all that is balanced i guess we have I, we must just have different definitions of balanced because i i honestly think kate's one of the most broken champs in the entire game dude i i i i i, I, I love her I use her a lot. I, I bring her to AQ every day. I draft her a ton. And it's not just because I like her or think she's balanced. It's because she's so freaking good. I would be a fool not to. <laughs> she's just that good. She's balanced because she isn't that hard as a defender and her skill cap is not easy. Dude, what do you mean her skill cap is not easy? You, you can slow down time and perfect release like even a noob like me can do that like plus oh yeah plus the passive stun dude the passive stun is oh my god don't even get me started on that that is such a crazy ability like you literally special one slow down time release it as soon as you see the little sparkle and now we're dealing we are dealing almost seven thousand damage per second H how is that balanced dude i i don't know that that is that is not balanced to me bro but i, I don't know that, that is so broken in my opinion like I, I i don't know man don't get me wrong though i love kate i i highly recommend her i like her uh i'm really glad i learned her i have a lot of fun when i play her but yeah, I absolutely think she's one of the most busted champs in the game. For sure. Alright, let's end this poll. This is a hill Legs is willing to die on. Oh yeah. There are a few hills. 
I will survive on. Um, but I mean, okay, so 46% of people think she is too strong. 45% of people think she's balanced. 7% think she needs buff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. I can get behind that. That's fair. Balanced because you got her max six star awakened ascended. Bro, my, my point is just that, you know, if I look at any of my other six star ascended champions, you know, there's not a single other champion here that I can just throw a special one and get that much out of it. You know, even Iceman, the guy literally made of ice can't do what kate does you know like we just saw kate take down that spot after one special one you know let's compare that to a guy literally made of ice okay let's do a little comparison still same rank rank five ascended sig 200 let's, let's just compare the difference you know special ones both apply cold snap Boom. See if he dies from that. I mean, it, it did some damage. Got a little lucky, I think, on some crits. Applied some good frostbites. But he's not dying. And we can't refresh that cold snap. We can't pause that cold snap. You know? Like, the guy of ice. The guy made of pure ice. That's his mutation. Um, a, what's it called? An Omega level mutant has weaker cold snaps than a teenage girl with a bow and arrow. Tell me how that makes sense. Because it just doesn't to me. It does not make sense up here. <laughs> it, 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 just, it just does not. So you're telling me a teenage girl with a bow and arrow, her block proficiency is 25 sorry that's crit her block proficiency is 72.4 percent and the guy made of pure ice pure ice what's his block proficiency let's, let's take a peek oh 66.7 percent that makes a ton of sense like i i mean i could go on but we're gonna get back to incursions all right teenage she's like 24 buddy Okay, a 24-year-old woman that, you know, doesn't change things that much. Why should a 24-year-old young woman... No, I'm, I'm 24, bro. Look at my wrists. Look at, look at my forearms. You think this, me holding this and blocking, is better than a guy made of pure ice or a guy with a vibranium shield? Or a guy with a magical, mystical aura around them. Like, it, 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 it just don't make sense. It don't make sense up here to me. And it's something that's always bugged me about Kate. That's the one thing I will... I, I just can't let it go, dude. I can't let it go. It, it, it's just one of those things that bugs me. It's a little thing, but I just find it funny. She is tankier than all the spider champs, right? <laughs> and these are champs, you know, with actual superpowers, with super strength, with super spider endurance. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's get in here. I, are we using Herc or Jugs? We gotta use Herc. It's long distance. Okay. Let's chill here. Oh yeah, we have freaking prove yourself. Dude, this node combo. Okay, now we can parry at least. There we go. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was 8,000 block damage? Buddy, chill. Cool. Gonna throw a special here or 
Or what? There we go. No, 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 Here we go. Let's get some damage in. Okay. That did nothing. Bruh. Ah, oh, he copied my buff. Is this the third law node? Ah, oh, I freaking hate that node with a passion. Damn it. That's, uh, that's so annoying. Bro literally copied my indestructible and said, nah, I'm not taking any damage here. You're a fool. He, he called me a fool. What a jerk. Okay, our special two is going to be pretty fat, though. Oh, yeah, he has Lazarus, so that's not even going to kill him. Okay, we're going to push him red, but we're going to hit him with a heavy... So it's fine. No, oh, oh, I thought he hit me there. Oh my god. Dude, can you throw your special? Why don't you want to throw them? Hello, Cull. Dude. Thank you. So scared of him going red there and just clapping me. Alright, we got him. Her block efficiency is ridiculous, that I 100% agree with. I mean, Nick has the strongest bleeds in the game. Uh, he does have good bleeds, but I mean, dude, he's the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. You think Nick Fury doesn't have some, you know, crazy gadget that could make you bleed out? That's believable. This whole game doesn't make sense. I mean, you are an absolute unit. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, when you become 24, you become a tank suddenly. <laughs> hey legs, how you doing? Spoke up from sleep, and the first thing I did was jump in your stream. Oh, good morning, bro. I'm doing great. Yeah, we're just running some incursions with the seven star rank two jugs, having a good time, talking some crap on some other champs, you know. Iceman should have been better. Yeah, like if Iceman, you know, was capable of the passive cold snap damage Kate was, you know, that'd be a lot better. Who the heck sent legs on this rant? I don't even know how we got on it, but. <laughs> It was fun. You need to be strong to handle a bow? Well, yes, but, you know, strong enough to handle a bow and strong enough to easily lift a car, you know, is, is very, very different. The strength to pull back a bow, you know, is easily attainable for any human. The strength to lift a car over your head that's a little different. Too bad the science class isn't uh, is already busted. Would love to see a proper sentry buff. I mean, hey, dude, that didn't stop them from buffing Luke Cage or Red Guardian recently. You know why can't they buff Sentry? <laughs> I wish. This game didn't make sense back in the day when Quake was more powerful than Captain America. Still doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot of things in this game that don't make sense. Cole has like 50 block proficiency when he has shield. No sense. Dude, yeah. that That's actually where the whole, you know, Kate block proficiency thing started. It was when Cull Obsidian came out. Because I remember looking at two champions. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going to bring it up again here. Yeah, I remember looking at Cull. So, you know, if we take a look at Cull here. He's this alien beefcake. You know, he's a big dude. He's got that big weapon that turns into a shield, you know. What's his block proficiency? 56.6% and the, the character that I remember comparing him to was Storm. Storm. Let's compare my 7 star Storm. Let's see what her block proficiency is. And the reason I compared it to Storm. Oh, I don't have her. I guess. Do 6 star Storm. Talking OG. Uh, and the reason I compared to this Storm was because look at Storm. Look at her wrists. 
Look at, like, I can go like this around her wrists. Like, they're tiny, you know? And when Storm blocks, she goes like this. She's using those tiny little wrists to block. What is Storm's block proficiency? 59.6% higher than a space monster with a shield. Like, I, I just, it just, it hurts my brain. It really hurts my brain. Ah, oh, the return of the beard. Yo, what's up, Tara? Yeah, this is my 2024 beard. I don't think I've shaved it at all this year. Null and Thanos need a buff? Dude, Null does not need a buff. Null is a beast. Uh, Thanos definitely does, though. Venom probably has the strongest bleeds. Um, I'd probably say someone with, with crit bleeds has the strongest. But Venom has really good bleeds for sure. Kate could have a vibranium bow that she blocks with. Mm. My dog, that looks wooden to me. That looks like the flimsiest bow I have ever seen. I feel like I could snap that thing like a twig, bro. You're telling me... I, I think blocking with your wrists would be better than with this little stick. Like... What, what is that going to do? If you tried to block an attack from a super-powered individual with this bow, it would snap in two instantly, and then you'd probably die. Yeah, there ain't no way that's a vibranium bow. That thing's made out of some sticks. You ever hold a bow? Uh, I have, yeah. Um, like, if she had, like, a big, like, compound bow or something, you know, like, a big beefy one, like, and she's blocking with that, like, okay. Like, that, okay. But she had a regular stick and and, and a string. Like, that's... Yeah, <laughs> that, that, I would... That is not a reliable weapon to be blocking with, especially against strength-enhanced individuals, you know? If you're fighting a... a a, 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 a 24 year old woman and you're, you're using that bow to block I'm sure you'll be fine but if you're fighting juggernaut you know and and, and you're holding up a that bow I don't think it's gonna 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 hold together you know okay we let's get let's focus on this incursion run and let's stop talking about eight I'm not I, I should I should I should bring her in now <laughs> yeah you know I'm gonna bring her in next room do that if they buff hood or luke cage or gamora again i'm quitting this game well hood is really good now i don't think he'll he'll need another buff um maybe guardian syndrome is made for cult that's what people said back in the day yeah using logics and physics eh good luck <laughs> it's true the logic ain't logicking right Yet. <laughs> was I was I on her butt for a little too long or what? It's adamantium. Oh yeah, true. It's it's adamantium. It's not vibranium. The other strongest metal. No. Oh. Oh my god. This this son of a gun, Ronin, bro. It's not bad enough that he has to come out of my incursion crystal. He has to catch me with a combo too. What a freaking guy. Yeah, how do you like that, buddy? How do you like that? How does that not connect, bro? Come on. Just die. 476,000 special one. Not bad. Oh, I'm so annoyed I took all that damage, though. Um, do we want to jokes this? Yes. Is that one potion in overflow? A whole Skyrim bow. Too much thinking. Remember when Hulk was a trash gamma brute? Yeah, dude. I'm I'm really glad they did Hulk justice. Like, Hulk, that was that wasn't Hulk's first buff either. They had buffed him before. They they really did him justice. Zero percent chance you're snapping a bow with your hands unless it's a Fisher Price. Depends on the bow. 
You don't know how strong I am. It's been working out. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, that was a big blocked hit. Come on, bud. Give me that special a toss. Alright, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, toss it here. Oh my god, so much freaking damage. <laughs> Bro, okay. I am definitely bringing jugs to future incursion pushes. This is awesome, bro. Oh, we got another Vision Arcus. That is not awesome. What nodes do you have? You get the horns. Tyran oh wait, Tyranny? Is he a villain? He is not a villain. He won't gain power? Power shield. Um, okay, I think if we get him in the corner with Herc and just start heavy spamming, that should work. I think that'll work. We're gonna try. Dude, damn it. Okay, nice. Freaking high. Oh, no, no, no. Chill, 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 bro. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, we gotta. We gotta get him in the corner. ASAP. Alright, there we go. In the corner. He's locked up in the corner. Alright, we start hitting him with these. Boom. Start degening. Alright, our immortality is paused while we're hitting. Crap, I need to, I'm gonna die. I need to heal. I'm dead. Ah, that sucks. What am I supposed to do here, man? Hmm. Okay, we just need a big special two with jugs, I guess. If I can even get there, though, I might just die to freezer burn. <coughs> I don't know. I might just be. It might be Jover here. Yeah, man, it's Jover. That's 300k. Do I want to revive? Yeah, I guess we will. Or at least we got that special one off. If I didn't get that special one off, I might have just given up. But that was enough damage to guarantee her can finish now. This fight is just lame. back in the corner get back to these heavies oh no he's healing up bro that's not good all right we gotta hope he dies or we die thank you will unless i do that damn it no <laughs> okay uh jugs should be able to finish since we have Heimdall on the team. Damn it. Okay. Or not. Oh my god, dude. Vision Arcus. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. Uh, my last revive. Okay. This sucks, man. Vision has been so annoying this run, right, dude? What a freaking jerk. Wow, that relic killed him. Okay. Whatever. Moving on. At least I haven't had to use units yet. But if we if I die anymore, I will have to. The rewards are getting juicy though now. Nice, we can revive jugs. That's really good. We got a Thanos here with brute force. That's fine. 
and a plat pool. Should be fine. Okay. Do we want to swap Heimdall for someone? I th yeah, let's bring Kate. <laughs> let's bring in Kate for the memes. Okay. There she is. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll go right to Thanos. And we're gonna team revive Jugs. Okay. When, sec uh, when Sector 7 drop? I don't know. Hey, Legs, if you want to see a crazy interaction, uh, hit I sent a bit online a bit ago, Zone 25. Okay. I'll definitely check it out later, Dilithius. Came out of mine twice. This game stopped making sense when Thor Rag was released. Darth, man. Uh, Thor Rags is one of like my most just... Dis I think Thor Rags is my most disappointed champ in the game. Because like, if we didn't have Thor Rags, we could have got Endgame Thor. We could have got Infinity War Thor. We got Ragnarok. I mean, no. That was Ragnarok Thor. But like right after Ragnarok, or I mean Like why did they have to give us like the, the Colosseum version? Like I don't know. I think it was I mean I know why. It was to market the movie. But like that I, I don't know if that's always the best way to go. Because like that part of the movie was like what 20 minutes when thor was in that armor in the arena you know like but now we're stuck with that thor forever in game and i and he's just never been that good you know thor ragnarok's just a disappointment Oh no, the brute force. It's not good. Okay, I'm gonna start with a special one. So that hopefully our special two will kill him. Oh. Yep, he's dead. Okay, excellent. Okay, plat pool time. Um, a little bit worried about this guy. But whatever, let's jump in. How's your Prowler going? Uh, I haven't played him since the video we got him. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just waiting for, for Act 8, because after Act 8, you know, then I'll be able to, to actually rank champs and stuff. Nice, we got the healing. Does knocking him down do something bad? Yes, it does. Gives him the auto block. But I should be able to be auto blocked right now, so it should be fine. And that is a lot of damage. Holy budge. Alright, that was easy. I'm hearing word prowler mid. Darth, I've been hearing similar things. I, well, not that he's mid, but that he's just not easy to use and to excel with. Whereas, you know, opposed to like a champ like Kate Bishop. I've heard Prowler feels like kind of clunky. And, I, and I, I, can, I can see that. Oh, another Vision Arcus. Look at that. We're not going to fight you, you scumbag. Jabari, what do you have? Zero to hero. No retreat. Oh god, Emma, what do you have? Aspect of evolution, whittled down. And a long shot, what do you have? Outside in. Hmm. Maybe we just go Jabari and Herc it, I guess. Say screw the no retreat. So we'll do. Stop hating on my girl Kate. Dude, it's not hate. It's not hate. It's um It's just my critique. 
Um, I don't hate Kate. I, I love her, bro. I She's my girl, too. I like her. She's on my team. I'm using her. I'm, I'm pretty good with her. I, I like Kate. I just think she's a little bit too powerful, and I don't think it makes sense. That's all. It's not hate. I appreciate Kate. It's just critiques. Like, I really just don't think Kabam realized how strong Kate was. You know, and, and I think they... I don't know if they fully understand now, but I think they have a much better understanding of how powerful Kate is now. Because, like, they were going to put her in as a 7-star. Like, how was she even on that list when she's this powerful of a champion? You know, same with Jugs. Same with Jugs. Like, Jugs is that good, too. But I, I think after Necropolis, now Kabam knows. Like, holy crap. This Kate Bishop is, is really something. Maybe we shouldn't release her as a 7-star. Because, I, I, I don't know about you guys, maybe we should make another poll. Do you see Kate Bishop coming as a 7-star? Okay, we're gonna trigger the no retreat here. <gasps> no! Oh my god, that's BS. That's so dumb. She just failed our immortality, bro. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Jabari. Really? Really? Oh, that's stupid. Okay. Yeah, let's make a poll, though. Seven star, eight bishop. All right, never gonna happen. Good. See it this year, even. Not right now. Maybe one day. All right. Let's see what you guys are thinking about that. All right, and we're gonna try Kate here, I guess. Frick Jabari Panther. I'm not gaining power here, bro. What? What node is this? Attacker's total combat power is reached by 100%. Every time he has the attacker, he's coming to steal. Oh. What? Okay. Bruh. Oh, I only stole a little bit of her power. Bro, why is this crap lasting forever? Oh my god. Dude, those buffs lasted so long. What the frick was with that? Look how much damage we're doing right now, dude. I was looking at ticks for over 8,000. Jeez. That is crazy. Okay. On to the boss. What do we got? Thorags. Consistent combos. I freaking hate that node. That means we have to do five hits or we get a glancing debuff. It's so lame. Ah, oh, it's my path in AQ. I know how much it sucks. Um okay, I think it looks drugsable though. Let's do it. No! Ah, uh, mother fudge. Oh, crap. Damn it, dude. I wanted to end this fight with a special two. Now... 
now we're in deep doo doo. No, 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 no. Dang it. That's not what I wanted at all. Dude, I, I might not even make it out of this fight alive. This sucks. Okay, I need to just throw my special. So that I can get out of... So I can get the jam active. Alright, there we go. That was the important thing. Alright, now we're back on track. Uh-oh. We need to bait this or we're gonna die. No! Jam! Thor! Dude! Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I forgot bro's specials damage capped or something. We're still dead. <sighs> Bruh. Rip. I hope there's a revive in the next room. Thorax Karma. Yeah, dude, he heard me talking crap. Alright, we have to do the full five combo. Otherwise... Oh my god, that did 100k. What the fudge? What the fudge? What the fudge? Oh, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freaking hit him when the tranquility is about to trigger. Nice special three there, bud. Mother trucker, got him. Dude, Kate, she's just too OP. There was never a doubt. Like, like man, anyone who thinks Kate isn't busted, like, look at my team right now. Like, I have a dead Hercules, who's regarded as the best champ in the game. I have a dead Juggernaut, 7-star, who's regarded as one of the most busted 7-stars in the game, and a healthy Kate Bishop. I mean, just look at the screen. <laughs> oh, there's no... Oh, there's a revive here. Thank God. Okay. Can we fight Ant-Man? Uh, that's a little rough. What about Bishop? I mean, Havoc. That looks a little rough, too. Um... And there's a Punisher here. Oh, man. And there's a freaking Atuma boss, bro. Really? Who put Atuma in here? That's... The Herc fight? Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be a little rough. Alright, that's... Oh, it's a single revive! No! No! I thought it was double. Ah oh, man, Jugs is staying dead, I guess. Rip, rip Jugs. All right, we're gonna go for some more Kate. Uh, she's busted. Ant-Man's free healing, hopefully. What's up, Abdo? Good to see you, buddy. All right, we're gonna bait this. Oh my God, that freaking hurt. Oh my god, that did a 100k crit, bro. That's unreal. Alright, we're gonna fit one more at least. Nice, we got a perfect block in there. That's really good. Dude, that was a 300k special to one! What the fudge, dude? What the fudge? How is that legal? Oh my goodness. Dude, this champ is is unreal. Oh my god. Got three of the bu most busted champs in the game on my team right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we should be able to herc this. No problem, right? I think so. Okay. Oh, I don't like this node. Whoa.
Whoa there, buddy boy. Relax, Ant-Man. Oh, wait. This note is going to be insane, though. Oh, my God. This note is unreal, dude. Uh, for, for Tide of Combat? Because all these debuffs are just going to fuel my fuel me furies. Oh, my God. This is going to be nuts. We're about to hit the fattest special one with Herc you've ever seen in your life. What? That wasn't even that fat. Hmm. That damage was disappointing. I thought it was- I thought we were about to see like a million special one. Why was the damage so low? I don't know. Alright, let's end this cape pull. Alright, looking like... So not right now, maybe one day, 54% and 18% saying I could see it this year even. And then 26% saying never gonna happen. Yeah, I that's fair. I agree with that. Just taking for 20k. That's crazy. Kate will be a 7-star, but only 75% through the 7-star reign. That will make the most dollars, I would think. Yeah, I could see Kate coming maybe one day, but yeah. Like, towards the end of the 7-star life, yeah. I, I, I don't see it any, any sooner. What's your all-time hated node? Oh, interesting. Um, oh, I think I know it. I can't think of the name right now. It's a really, really old node. We rarely see it anymore. But the way that it worked was just when you hit the opponent, there was just a chance to be stunned. Just a random chance. What node was that? Maybe some of you guys know. Once I see the name, I'll know it for sure. But there was just like a chance to be stunned when you hit the opponent. Spry? No, I think Spry is a little different. Let me look on Ant May, see if I can find it. Just by putting in like stun. Quest nodes. I know it's in like Act 4, or it used to be at least. Let's see, stun. I right, see. Let me check chat again. Anyone say it? Mesmerize. Yeah, that's it. There's a million of them now. Yeah, dude. Mesmerize. That node was so dumb. I Yeah, that node, man. So stupid. Yeah, that's that's it for sure. Let me let me look it up on Aunt May here. Mesmerize. Yeah, so a 7% chance to evade attacks and leave the attacker stunned for one second. Yeah, it's not just that they stun you. They evade you and they punish you with a stun. Yeah, that's just such a dumb note in my opinion. Slash T. Yeah, slash tires was pretty rough too. That one's um when you dash back, you just take damage. It's like Caltrops, but instead of bleed, it's just damage. Okay, uh, we got an Atuma here. Shouldn't shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're just gonna have to hurt it though, and we're we'll probably taking a lot of damage. Probably have to trigger our immortality because this is like a 369k Atuma. Like, are, how much are the thorns gonna be hurting for? Oh wow, it's actually not that bad. We're gonna bait this. Whoa there, buddy. And knock him down. And then we're going to special. <laughs> Finally. I think that was the first time we saw we needed the full special two to kill the opponent. <laughs> that was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Nice. Let's go, Herc. You freaking beast. Didn't even need the immortality. Okay. So we got 23, 24, 25. Three more to go. Let's get her done. Uh, oh, a scorpion. That would be... Doable with Kate. Okay, there's no revives in this room. We have a weapon X. With oscillate. We have a black cat. With spite. That sounds kind of annoying. We have a Wiccan boss. He doesn't look too bad. 
Um, how bad is this weapon X? Yes, oscillate, dazed and confused, turtling. I think we'll just fight weapon X. It's gonna be a little sketchy, but I think it's the best route. What hacks did you get today? Uh, we can do a hack showcase. One second here. So we got tie to combat, we got attribute boost multiplier, we got perpetual offense, and we got draining degeneration. And so draining degeneration and tide of combat are actually working hand in hand with each other, uh, with non damaging debuffs leading to more fury. So it's actually working out quite well. Um, and then yeah, I got all this stuff. The big one is perpetual offense for sure. That's making our special attacks just kill everything. What do you think the catalyst will be for rank six seven star? Or do you think it will be a new type of resource only acquired via high end content? I have no idea right now, man. I don't even know if Kabam knows right now. All we really know is what's next for rank four. So that's tier seven basic. But I mean, you know, this game is so predictable because this game has, for the most part, you know, you can see the patterns through five stars then to six stars now to seven stars and show the rank you, you just see the patterns you know so it, it's if kabam you know sticks to what they've been doing we'll be able to predict you know what catalysts we're getting i mean they just keep going up you know the next thing after a tier six basic catalyst guess what a tier seven basic catalyst you know it's not it's not that complex it's 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 predictable um, and it just depends what Kabam decides to do. So yeah, we do have full six ranks for seven stars. So I wonder if that means once you have like a rank six, seven star, can you then ascend them on top of that? That's what I want to know. But how many units spent so far? No units yet. Uh, but we did use a couple. I'm out of revives now. I had like three, two team, one single, and we're out of those. Uh, I think we'll just go Herc. Yeah. Man, we're doing 36k mediums, and I'm not even running the recoils right now. Maybe I should throw them on if Kate dies. If I'm just using Herc. It's free, too, anyway, so... I want to just rip a special two, but we need to get the uh, true sense buff to counter his miss first. And at this point, we might as well just throw another special one. All right, bye. Oilers game is on. Okay, take care. That's great. I'll be able to get food and watch the game tonight. Might miss the first period though, that's all good though. Alright, let's go work. Who do you rank for right now if you could? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Let me let me go back to my roster after this and, and see. Alright, so let's get him into his mode. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna hit him with a special one. And then we're gonna intercept him. Right here, this intercept. Boom. That was a big one. Oh, oh. Okay, now he's angry, so he's unblockable. That weird node. I've never seen that node before, actually. But it's fine. Okay, oscillate. He'll throw this. Perfect. And now we just want to toss this. And... Dead. Excellent. Alright, we played that pretty well. Okay, if I had to rank for someone right now... Um... Ah, that's a, uh, hmm. My current roster. I think it would be only, I think it would just be between two champs. Um, it's really just between two champs and that's just my two best ranked threes, which is Sasquatch and Spoticus. I'd rank for one of them. Which one? I don't know. 
but it'd be one of them for sure. Sassy for sure. I don't know. Rank four spot would be so sick, dude. Like spot is my my profile picture, and I kind of want to keep it that way, you know? Like look how good that looks, dude. Look how look how how much drip that has. All right, Wiccan time. Um, okay, so as long as we don't parry, we're fine, right? We just won't parry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's protection shielding he has right now. Okay, okay, that's why I don't need to knock him down. All right, we're gonna bait his special ones. Please, sir. Okay. Out range. And bait his special one. Out range. Whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy boy. And now I'm incinerating. That's a whole bunch of fun. Alright, well, we go all in now. Balls. What? Why did I? Power play. Oh my. Oh, that's so. Stupid. Uh, okay. This power play no just triggered every 12 seconds, whichever champion has the least amount of power is fate sealed for six seconds, and I just threw my special, so I had no power. It's annoying. Alright, I should have paid more attention to that. It's my own fault. It's all good though. Let's just go in with the goat, Kate Bishop. that okay need more rank 3 spot content yeah I know I have a, a good amount recorded it's just like spread out from like the last three months in my camera roll I need to like one day find it all and put it together in a video Yes, we got a team revive. Let's go. I really needed that. Okay. It's not Jover yet. Combat Deja Vu weakness. Buffet over time. Indestructible. This sounds... Okay. What does Cyclops have here? Not much about Meg's. Tunnel vision, that is kind of annoying. Mm, not too. Wait, what, what was that note? Is that called Critical Shock Tether? What is that? If either champion is not making contact in 8 seconds, the attacker is inflicted with a Critical Shock passive, dealing 20% of the defender's attack rating, multiplied by their Critical Damage rating as energy damage over 3 seconds. All these nodes before were pretty much irrelevant. Uh, any of the blank tether nodes because they just they tickled they didn't do any actual damage you could just heal from it and they were debuffs but now this is a critical passive effect ah no thanks that's gonna kill me i think if that gets on me so we're gonna fight cyclops instead and we are going to team revive there we go all right Hey, like, just subscribe. Keep up the good work. Yo, music list. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the crew. I had uh, Spot, Piggy, and Photon all uh, uh, unduped. Going Science for Act 8, I really want to dupe one of them. Or get Titania. Dude, that'd be sick. Drip, the drip factor alone from Spot is worth it, right? Are you not planning to buy the Sigil anymore? Uh, no, I am. Um, I think I was just waiting for this event to end. Because that resets like i don't really need my sigil for anything you know um but yeah i'll probably remember it. all right let's go for some herc oh my god i do it again 
pop that. Nice. Alright, we're gonna go for it here. Oh my god. I'm just, I was looking at 100k plus in red on each hit. Holy crap, dude. Herc, you maniac. Okay, this is just, this is just a Cyclops. We just need to be careful. Uh, he's going to be kind of stun immune and unblockable. To start. So we just got to chill. Beta heavy. Alright, and now we're good. Oh, that's annoying. Crap, that's bad. Crap. Dude, if I miss one special, I'm dead. Because he's fate sealing me, my immortality won't trigger. I don't like that at all. Like, I can evade Cyclops special, but if I know it's going to kill me, that makes me nervous. <laughs> and I mess it up. Dude, I, did, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Should have kept that information to myself. Cyclops heard me say it. <laughs> ah, that's funny though. Oh man. <sighs> Jugs is gonna be kind of bad too then. Guess we gotta cade it then. Dude, I just fumbled that fight so hard. <sighs> I was gonna use Herc for the boss too. <laughs> It's okay, let's just use Kate. Oh wait, dude, Kate has a shorter dash back. Oh, I, oh, I better not get screwed by this. Okay, nice, good. Like I actually, um, oh, that's a lot of damage. I need parry. There we go. Um, against Yellow Jacket, it's actually really hard to evade the special one with Kate because of her um kind of shallow Dex window. I'm trying to chill. I really don't want to bait any more specials here. Alright. Alright. Plat pool time. This fight might really suck. I'm a little worried about this. It's got combat deja vu weakness. That's terrible for jugs, man. I guess we're gonna try Kate then. Oh god. God, look how much prowess this dude has. I don't like that. I do this with jugs i'm gonna have to alternate my combos or i could just i can't dash back oh god this is gonna suck um okay i think i'm just gonna go for a special three yeah this is we're, we're this fight's gonna take me a while but we're gonna heal play slow okay boom this will give us one guaranteed prowess plus now the 
debuffs do not matter. Crap, he's indestructible. God damn it. That would have done so much freaking damage, bro. Special 2 would have ripped him apart. Bro, what? I did not parry him. What was that? Dog, throw it. Why is this dog lying? I'm tossing this YOLO. Tossing that too. Oh my god, 420, baby. 420. Toss another one. YOLO. Dude, can you throw your special for the love of God? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, another special three. Oh, we're back at full health now. I didn't even notice. Cool. I'm gonna stagger. Boom. No! No! Oh, actually, that's okay. No! That is not okay! <laughs> ah, no, dude. Alright, we're going for a team revive. Dude. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. I want to go for some more jugs, because I want to heal him up. We were, we were healing to full, man. I want to try to do that again. God damn it, God damn it dude. No. Oh. Damn it. Okay, let's let's just let's just get him down. Let's let's just get through this fight. Okay, let's go. Let's focus. <laughs> the jugs died there. Okay, I think one Herc special two without weakness on me should probably kill him. Right? Yeah. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Alright, on to zone 25. So we get 46 stones for the next room, which is good. I actually really need these six stones. Okay, hopefully we get a blessed room to end it with. Come on, be kind. I hit monkey. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine, dude. That's totally fine. Okay. Now, how realistic is it to get there? Mr. Negative, what do you have, sir? Polka dot debuff. Okay. Dude, okay. Okay, this room ain't bad. Um. I think I'm gonna drop Kate and break someone else just cause she's knocking on death's door. Ooh. Oh, I'm bringing Nick. The most value champion to bring in in a scenario like this, bro. Because this Nick will have his second life. There we go. Big brain. Okay. Let's take some health. Because we need it. Alright, egg on. This should be easy. Hey, Legs. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Hunter? I'm actually doing pretty great. Yeah. 
This is my first time doing a zone 25 solo push. We're almost there. I usually get carried by a teammate. Which is nice. It's definitely easier. I'm pretty good at fighting Mr. Negative, actually, but I think we'll go for Nick since there's the, the debuff node and class advantage. So. I can evade his special two 10 out of 10 times against the wall flawlessly, but the special one I can't evade for the life of me. Oh my god, that was a lot of block damage. Jeez. Alright, well, we're hitting pretty hard now. Okay, watch, we'll bait this. No problems at all on that. Toss this. And he's dead, bro. Nick Fury. What a G. It didn't work. Good job, Nick. Alright, now Herc's all nice and fine for the boss. Okay, I think we'll, we'll, we'll try Nick first. Because why not? He has protective shielding anyways, so, you know, we'll just kind of just bleed him down. And it's Perry. Let's see. Okay, that... Oh, it's one-eyed open. I'm, I'm just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I know that note is there, but... I was like, I want to see how much a parry will do. And I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. And then I immediately just started attacking. It's all good, though. I got Herc. I got Immortality. Should be fine. And even if we die, like, one revive is fine, you know? It's all good. We're on this is the final fight, so... I don't mind, since we're here. But... I should be fine. I'm, I'm pretty good at fighting hit monkey, so not really worried. And by pretty good at fighting him, I just mean I can evade a special one pretty reliably. That's really all I meant. It's really all you need against him. And we're not knocking him down, so we don't have to worry about his stuff. We got blessed with the final room. Thank goodness. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna risk it though. It it, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be myself if I didn't try to risk it. All right, so we're gonna knock him down and then throw this, and hopefully this kills. Because if not, I might die. <laughs> but. Well, no, we still have Immortality, so even if you hit this, like, an unblockable special 2, we should be okay. That did not kill. Wow. Uh... Crap. Oh, I... Dude, I... I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb! He gains... Above 2 bars, he gains 75% protection. I think we need to restart to save the revive. <laughs> ah. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I just keep finding a way to the fumble. It's actually one of my special talents. You know, it's not one that I'm proud of, but it's definitely one that I possess. Ah. It's finding a way to fumble. When there should be no way to fumble. But there's always a way. 
Okay, we saved the revive though. So we just have to do that again. I, hey, at least we know it's possible now. And we're not gonna make the same mistake again. I just like fighting Hitmonkey so much, I wanted to do it twice, you know? Oh, that's actually a good one. What do you guys think of Hitmonkey as a seven star? I think he, I think like we actually start to see him in the game a lot more if he came up. I think he'd be a really good seven star. What do you guys think? Cause like right now I'd say Hitmonkey's like pretty irrelevant, but if he came out as a seven star, I think that would fix it. Oh god, I tried to- Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? When I'd open... I tried to throw my... My, uh... My striker there. I'm gonna toss this. And this. Nice, we got him. Oh! What? Am I reading that correctly? Vincent just sent over a hundred bucks. Some help so that if you fumble, you have backup. Uh, Vincent. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. People have called me the fumbler. So, dude. Thank you so much. Holy fudge. Wow. This is a lot of money. Thank you so much, dude. Let's get you up here the stream king and that should be we should be done Oop. zone 25 complete awesome man awesome oh and it resets tomorrow <laughs> oh maybe another incursion push tomorrow no i'm just kidding i think tomorrow will be we'll be streaming the tier list uh but vincent dudes that's nuts man thank you so much got you man dude i appreciate it I really, really do. Thank you. Okay, man. Let's conclude. We're done. Okay, let's go. Let's go see what we got for some crystals. Cause hundred dollar donation. We gotta. We gotta open some stuff up. Let's claim all this gold. That is nice. That is very nice. Can always use more gold. What do you think of another seven star vote like the last one? Like for the Titan Pool Darth? Is that what you're talking about? Alright, I don't think yeah, I don't have enough for seven star. Ways off on that. Unless can I scrape together enough shards? I could get five thousand from battlegrounds. Dude, Vince just in over another hundred. Okay, we're we're gonna try to scrape together a seven star. I th maybe we can make it happen. We're gonna try. Need if Vincent just sent two hundred, we, we gotta get a seven star cooking. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Vincent has unreal, dude. Holy, f back to back Odin's. Oh my god. knees if you were bg yeah dude my knees are shattered okay unfortunately i don't think any of those are max sig but all right that's a thousand shards okay you know what guys i think sh should we just do a crystal cleanup right now i think we should i was gonna do this uh, at the end of act eight but you know what we're gonna do it right now so i'm gonna start recording Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. Now, I was gonna be saving this crystal cleanup for when I finished act eight. I was gonna open up all my crystals, then open up all the big stuff, and it's gonna be awesome. But we're streaming right now. We just smashed out 25 zones of incursion solo, and Vincent sent over a hundred dollar donation. I said I was gonna open some crystals, then he sent over another one. He doubled up. So I'm just gonna be opening crystals, man. We're gonna be opening crystals. Um and we're trying to scrape together a seven star and then once we do act eight you know it'll just be greater focus on the big ticket crystals which is i'm sure what you guys want to see when i finish act eight anyways so this is the way now so we're just gonna pop open like every crystal i have let's go 
We got 19 of these side quest crystals. Hey, that's a six star. We take those. Okay. Vincent MVP. He absolutely is, man. He made this happen live today. Yo. Like the vote to pick a champ in the game. I uh, like the Jugs one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I'm going to mention to Kabam that I would love if they did some more voting with, with Titan Pool introductions. I, I would love to see it personally. All right. This is a, a Cassie Lang, I think. It's a Max Sig. Perfect. I was going to make sure she was already Max Sig, but yeah, it looks like she was. So all good. Okay. We've got three Paragons right here. Pop these. Alright. I got have some mythic Nexus crystals. We should be able to get some seven star shards out of those. Yeah, I got four of these bad boys. Let's pop it. Uh two, four, six. That's a six star tasky. Uh all five stars here. All max sig already. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh nice. That's a big spot. And a bigger intra. Um, I kind of actually need Mystic Iso, so we're going to go for the intra, even though I like spot way more. And then that's a new 5 star. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. A new champ, two 6 stars. One being Max Sig. Okay. I should have a few Max Sig crystals. Going to hold off on the relic stuff. Everything under 6 star, I'm just waiting for whenever they add new relics, then I can just get them right away. Alright. How many 7 star shards are we at now? 8,900. Okay, we're definitely going to get to at least one. For sure. Alright, we got a couple paragons. I'm going to spin to pop 11. Let's see. I have still yet to ever pull a 7 star out of one of these crystals. Not a single... 7 star have I got yet. I've probably opened more than 300 of them at this point. Will my curse ever end? Not even a 6 star. Jesus. I, 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 no, we're not gonna spend anymore. We're just gonna pop the rest. I, I hate these crystals, man. Alright, at least a 6 star. I'll take it. Okay. Oof, I, I can't send more. Only lets me donate 500 a day. Vincent, Vincent, Vincent. Buddy, $100 is way more than enough, and you've already doubled it. <laughs> all good. Thank you so much, man. Please, you don't got to send any more. It's all good. All right, we got 22 dailies. We're going to spin one, pop 20, and spin the last one. See if we can pull a 7-star out of here. That'd be interesting. Mystic T, 6 CC, that's good. How much? 11,000, that's really good. Okay, let's pop 10. Nice, we got the seven star shards, dude. Okay, there we go, we're basically there now. Awesome. Plus, I have been needing more of these catalysts. That's great. Pop another 10. All right, we didn't get another stack of seven star shards, but just one is good enough. That last one spin. Oh, that's a big off. Here's some of my luck. My first 20 Paragons, I got two 7 stars. Damn! <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's great. I, I've seen other people, like, just do a pop, and yeah, like, multiple 7 stars. And yet, I've never even gotten one. Like, I I feel like on those types of crystals, Kabam needs to put in a pity system. Like, after 200, you should just be guaranteed a 7 star. Like, that is... It's silly. All right. Just some tier six basic. Okay. Okay, so we should be super close to our seven star now. Yeah, very, very close. Okay, let's just start popping stuff. 12 PHCs. Sure, pop them. Yo, what's up, Yusafa? We doing a little crystal cleanup right now. I haven't opened PHCs in a while. Those have probably been there for a long time. All right, we have five star. We're just gonna be popping everything I see. Mexig Rhino, sure. Okay, moving on. Pop. 
Nice, that's a seven or a six star, which means seven star shards. Though I have your curse legacy, they were both Falcon. They were both Falcon, dude. That's unreal. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not jealous anymore. I was jealous before, but I'm not jealous anymore, dude. That's crazy. Six star Joverseer, excellent. We might not even need to buy any shards from uh, the BG store. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to. All right, we got a Paragon Nexus here. Ooh, there's my six star Jugs at 669. I don't want to disrupt his Sig, but gotta take those seven star shards. Okay, cool. Let's just keep opening whatever we got in front of us. Okay. Some ultimate crystals. Keep popping. It's also good because I'm sure after Act 8 is done, I'm going to need a lot of ISO. Uh, so, you know, we're stocking up on ISO right now. Do you guys want to see something weird? Watch this. These crystals won't open. They're too old. <laughs> yeah. They, they just don't open. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I only have two left now. I'm going to keep saving them. Alright, let's just pop open all this. Wow. The fudge, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> Have you ever seen that before? Alright, we got some gold crystals. I am getting low on gold, so let's open all these up. 1.5 milli. Nice. Got some regular golden crystals. If we could get back above 20 million, that'd be good. And that's true collectible, right? I still got those crystals? Nice. That's something you can flex about for ages? Yeah. They were from Valentine's Day. Like, 20... 21, I think? And Padme gave them to me, so I, I held on to them. Uh, Alright, let's keep popping, though. We got some Tier 1 alloy. Okay, we got some Platinum pool Palooza Crystals here. What do we have in here? Seven Star Shards. T6CC. T6 Basic. Six Star Shards. T6CC. Six Star Shards. Tier 3 Alpha. Oh! Is this... Where's the Valiant one? I guess there isn't one. What? Oh, it's... it's What? I thought that was a Peace Selector. Ah, that's a Paragon Crystal? I, oh, it is a Peace Selector. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm missing... I'm still missing so much on the 7 star. What should we take? We can get the Jacked Left Arm. The Legs. Or the, oh, we gotta get the torso, bro. We need a torso. Okay. Alright, at least we got more one piece closer. I think these contain possible pieces too. Just units. Okay. That gets back what we spent in the incursions. Doubles it. I think I spent like 150 units on a team revive, so that was 300. This is not live. We all watching replay. Oh, this is this is very live. Here's my phone right now. As I scroll, the screen moves. We are live. All right, we got a Paragon skill crystal. Let's pop that. Four star. I'm missing one piece. Wish I was missing one piece. Uh, I'm missing two pieces though now. All right, we got some Max Siggies. Let's crank all these open. Got a superior mythic crystal. Let's pop that. Five star gam gam. Okay. Five star maxi crystals. Bro, speaking of One Piece, it's getting so intense. Dude, oh, man, it's so good. I'm so excited for the next episode. I want to just like forget about One Piece for like the next like three years and then in three years just like watch every episode I've missed but like 
There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that, you know? Oh nice, we got six of those. Alright, we'll definitely have a seven star secured now. I didn't think I was gonna be opening up any more seven stars until um eight act eight, but hey. Two hundred dollar donation? We gotta do it. Alright, what are we getting here? Okay. Alright, and collected gold crystals. Hopefully these get us up to twenty mil. Come on, baby. Come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. 19? 20, baby. Let's go. Back up over 20 mil. That's what we like to see. Okay. Alright. Uh, I think I'll hold on to the 4 star awakening gems. But the 5 star ones. Pop those. Six star tech. Uh, T4CC. I'm gonna hold on to those as well. Uh, the rest of this stuff though, we're opening. Yo, Restless Russell sent over two. If my math is correct, this is two times the top donation. Uh, wait, what? Your math must be flying over my head then because I don't get it um oh I do have a couple of these where did I get these from oh from those Pulusa crystals and then these I think were just from incursions okay okay guys I think that's pretty much all the crystals that needed cleaning up and now it is time for the seven star. Right. Let's go. This one is for you, Vincent. Uh, I'm all caught up, uh, but my daughter decided to rewatch it from the start. We on the Nami arc. It's still so good after all these years, dude. That's that's awesome, man. I definitely want to rewatch One Piece with my kids someday. <laughs> that. That is goals. That's life goals right there. Alright, we're gonna let this one spin all the way out. I'm not touching it. Jugs dupe would be dope. Jugs awakening. Man, that would be so crazy. After using him in the incursions, we awaken him. Oh man. That would pretty much be like the best possible pull. Let's see what we got. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh. Sunny! I almost had a Sunny! Dude, I don't have Sunspot at all. I Ah, oh, that would've been awesome. Not that Joe is bad. That's good. I just really wanted to get a Sunspot, man. That's good, though. Finally got the Joe the Joe, not Joe Verseer, but the big Joe. The big Joe duped. Interesting. It's funny, because I also actually just recently did dupe the, the Joe Verseer. <laughs> now they're both duped. But I still can't dupe Hulk. But my favorite one of the seven star Hulks. Hmm. Not bad though. Joe definitely kind of needs to be awakened. So it's a good pull. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to rank them right now. But I do like that. That's definitely a great pull. Definitely a great pull. But the Sunspot, man. The Sunspot definitely would have been better. Uh, I don't have him as a seven star at all and that dude just so crazy in bgs but it's all good you said you're not a fan of sunspot i i haven't been for a very long time i died with him in an alliance war like four years ago but i think i'm finally over it i think i'm finally ready to forgive him and start using him because the dude is just an animal in battlegrounds and i i cannot deny that so it'd be great to have him but uh, yeah, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this uh, this crystal cleanup. Um, again, massive shout out and thank you to Vincent for the $200 donation. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did. Drop a like if you want to see more. Peace out. Crap, I said that in the wrong order. <laughs> Just said, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. But whatever. <laughs> okay. Dude, yeah, Joe's good though. That is definitely good.
my my goal is to you know acquire every single champion as a seven star and get them awakened you know that's a long very long term goal but you know so just any new seven star i will not complain about and any first time awakening seven star i will not complain about outside of titan crystals i should say if it's a titan crystal those rules go out the window and i have every right to complain because titan crystals are different <laughs> and they give you so much anxiety joe really needs the awakening yeah i, I know he do I know he do i i really wanted joe from my seven star like back in when when was that dude that would have been in like august of last year like when i was trying to qualify for the brawl i i asked i was like please please give me joe fix it they're like nah 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 now months and months and months later it's a year later oh here's joe fix it here you can have him awakened yeah here you go but at this point like i'm just joe fix it who at this point you know but maybe if there's a really good meta for him i'll rank him up or or something i don't know what hold on, let me actually take a peek at the sig here okay i see yeah okay that makes sense You see Invincible? Yeah, dude, I'm all caught up. Wow, I can't wait for next season. You haven't had a bad pull except Emma lately? Yeah, pretty much. Please, top five champs you'd smash. Last minute question. Uh, I'm going to rephrase. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the top five champs who I think are the most attractive in the game. We'll do it that way, sure. Um, just put the six stars. So I'd say the number one baddie in the game is is definitely where is she? Where the frick is she? Did I pass her? Must have. Black cat. She is definitely the baddest bee in the game. Uh in my opinion. So black cat number one. Um, Electra's pretty bad, dude. Electra is pretty bad. Same with Black Widow, Deadly Origin. I'd say those three are definitely on there. Um, I think Invisible Woman, kind of cute. I don't love short hair, but she's pretty cute. I'd probably say her and then the last one would probably just be uh emma whoops that's not emma emma or or kitty kitty is like yeah i'd say she's definitely kind of like my type like just a cute brunette basic brunette yeah i think kitty's pretty cute yeah magic oh yeah magic Whoops. Sh magic. No, ma magic's not. She's more the, the type of champion on the list of smash or pass. Because I mean, like, oh, we're looking at six stars. She doesn't exist as a six star. Bro, why is she dressed like this? <laughs> That's, um. Dude, she looks like a dominatrix from a dungeon. Like, that's what she looks like. Real talk. Like, how, like, how would this be comfortable? I don't know, man. Bro's forgetting I bomb. Oh, that's true, man. And Mojo, some handsome gentleman. Oh, I mean, man, thing. Look at this guy. Look, look at that face. Who wouldn't want to kiss man thing every day? <laughs> that sounded terrible. Oh god. Um Yeah. Uh real fishy knows is a game. <laughs> hey man, I'm not I'm not afraid to answer questions. Oh dude, there was a ton of seven star shards right here. There's a bis nexus in here too? Damn. 
All kinds of goodies in here. What, oh crap, I should have looked at my roster first. Um, read my last for an amazing order. Uh, let's see. Mojo, Titania, Black Hat, Kingpin, and last but not least, Old Man Logan. Oh yeah, dude, that's a great list. Uh, who am I missing? I don't even know. Hmm. I think I'm missing six star Kushala, so we'll grab that, I guess. And let's do that. Let's go open that up too. Who are your most respected MCC players in terms of skill? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, most respected MCC players in terms of skill. I would say... The first couple of names that come to mind would be MSD, Fintech, Andy... Biro, Pepe, yeah, I think those are like the first five that really come to mind. But like, there's so many more, you know, like Darth Ghost, Trappy, Karate Mike, Swadia, KT1, Kurt, uh... B we dab like there's if I really start thinking like there's so many you know but those are some of the ones that have come to mind first Naga say yeah lefty <laughs> yeah lefty lefty's like the best player I've ever seen oh yeah let's open this up oh there's Kishala perfect oh the dog too oh all right, guys, we got to make a poll. Better Mystic Champ overall. <clears throat> Kushala. Werewolf by. All right, let's see, guys. Who is going to win? Don't you have both ranked two seven star? Yes. <laughs> I do. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll let the poll decide. You have a seven star dog? I, I have both seven stars. It, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to complete my six star roster. So I want to see who chat thinks is better overall we also have this little dog right here <laughs> hey buddy what are you doing hmm? look at this cute little guy hey hi hi buddy he's been sitting on my lap for a while i don't even know how long a couple hours such a good dog ace hmm? such a good dog yeah i know You're a good boy okay thank you Ace says doggo. Indeed. That's Ace's vote. Alright, let's see how the poll is looking. Kashal is winning. 56% to 44%. Interesting. Stream is three hours. Holy crap. It's about to be four. We're less than a minute away from four hours. Yeah, he does have both, but this is a great chance for a community poll. Exactly. Dude, I, I, I don't know why, but... I really like doing polls. Like while I'm streaming, I, I don't know why. I may, maybe, I, maybe it's because it makes me feel powerful, seeing like all these people answering my question through a vote. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But I just I love it. I love interacting with you guys through a poll and voting, getting your opinions, and just seeing like I don't know, just getting like a more broad sample size on something you know like hundreds of votes on something 
I don't know. I just really like it. Bros on a power trip. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but I love it. And I think it started because, like, Brian, I was always in his streams and he was doing polls. And, like, I also enjoy participating in the polls, you know, in other people's streams. Like, I just, I don't know. I just think polls are a lot of fun in a stream. I, th I think a lot of you guys would agree. Should we make a, <laughs> do a poll? Do you like being polled? Yes, I love it. No, I hate it. Uh, all right, we're going to end the poll, though. Looks like Kushala won. I personally think the dog is better. Just because he's a, he's a pretty good defender. Um, but I think Kushala is a superior attacker. If we're talking just purely offense, I would say Kushala is superior. But I think overall, the dog is a bit better. Just because he's a defender. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, I wanted both. So that's really cool. Pop this too. Oh, was, was, that, was that the right arm? I think that was the right arm. I, I think I need the left arm. Don't tell me I just doubled up on pieces. Where is it? In other? I did double up on pieces, man. Damn it. I have two swole right arms. Man. I need the left arm. Of course. What's your dog's breed? Uh, he is a miniature Australian Shepherd. But yeah, I do have a seven star Kushala. She is actually awakened as well. So she's she's looking pretty nice. Wait, what poles do you like? Like sh stripping poles or MCOC poles? I like the the voting kind of poles. <laughs> He's drunk on the power, but yeah, it is good both ways. We like it, so glad you do too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun for everyone, you know. Legs is the one who knocks. Um, you like being whole. That's what she said. Oh my. You need both arms, no? Yeah. Doggo takes less damage on poison? Yeah. He's, he's like... I think he... Re does, does he reduce the duration of it? Or what exactly does it say? So werewolf by night is immune to heal block and incoming poison suffer 90% minus 90% duration. Yeah, so he's not immune to it. He just lowers the duration by 90%, which is a nice ability for sure. Why do you not sell those six star pieces for more chances at the seven star? Oh, I don't know. Do I have excess six star pieces? I don't know, dude. Um, what do they sell for? What's that? Oh, dude, I I didn't know. Okay, yeah, let's sell three of these then. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I sell that arm too? What do I get if I sell that arm? Or can you not? You can. It's just the same thing. Hmm. Probably not worth selling the seven star one. Because we want to eventually dupe the seven star one. Hmm. Was... Alright, whatever. I, I didn't know you could sell the extra pieces. Good shout though, yeah. Yo, my dog is an Australian Shepherd too. Full size though. Nice, man. Yeah, I... For my... if When I get another dog, I want it to be a bigger dog. And I think... Well, right now at least, I, I would ideally want either a German Shepherd or a full size Aussie Shepherd and a friend for AC. I think I'd get a female dog as a second one. Ace is fixed though. But... Yeah, I have been thinking about getting another dog, but no, I, I don't think now is the right time. Or, I don't know. I don't think right now is the time. But man, I do love dogs. I uh, just came back from an extended break from NCOC. Is Onslaught worth all the hype, and how badly do you want him as a 7-star? Yes, he is worth all the hype. How badly do you want him as a 7-star? 
I mean, if you have the six star, you can. You know, excuse me, you can uh, take to rank five, max sig, and ascend. You know, which is what a lot of people have done. Like, I, I would, I would probably wager that onslaught is the most ranked five and ascended champ in the game of champions that have been released from 20 23 and on actually i don't know if i'd make that wager from the second half of 2023 i'd make that wager but the only thing is like onslaught came out right at the he was the last champ of 2023 you know so but even still, like he, th there are so many rank five ascended onslaughts out there because he's that good. He he really is. He is the best mutant in the game. Um, which I mean, the mutant class was the worst, so you know they kind of needed the help. Um, but onslaught is just really good. He's so good on attack. There's so much stuff he can cover. He has so such good damage and unique damage source he applies neuroshock and then he turns that neuroshock into degen and they're not debuffs they're passives no one in the game is immune to neuroshock very few champions can you know even lower degeneration damage um he has triple immunities to bleed incinerate shock he has non-contact attacks um dude he just and on top of all of that he's one of the best defenders in the game like Onslaught, man, he is just, I think Onslaught is, hmm, do I think that? Yeah, I, you know, I think I do. I, I really think Onslaught is pretty much like the, the perfectly overpowered design champ. You know, whereas Kate Bishop, you know, I think she's a little too much. Onslaught, I think it's a lot. But I, I think it works. I think it works perfectly for Onslaught. I don't think... I think he's so... I think he's the best mutant in the game. But I don't think he's too broken. I really don't. I don't think he's too broken. I, I think he was just designed perfectly. Is he a little bit powerful than the average champion? Yes. But he should be, man. He's literally the amalgamation of Professor X and Magneto. You know? Like, two of the most noteworthy mutants other than wolverine i would say those are the, the two most noteworthy mutants in the world like of that like people know of you know so like he absolutely should be the best mutant in the game and like i yeah i just think onslaught was like pretty much one of the best additions we've ever had to mcoc and i don't think he's going to be rebalanced i really don't i don't think anything's going to change I, I think he's pretty much a perfect champion I, I really think he saved the mutant class. He really did. He is the savior of the mutant class. Apoc saved the mutant class when he came out and revolutionized it. But ever since Apoc, like it has been, it's been it's been in shambles. Uh, but then Onslaught came out and man, whew. did you just say Kay's more broken than Onslaught? Yeah, she is, dude. Do you see people taking Onslaught for entire Necropolis runs? No. You see them take like a couple fights with him. But Kate? Bro, she's freezing like 95% of the Necropolis. Kate doubles his damage. Yeah, dude, Kate is ridiculous. And Kate, like, all you do is throw your special one. With Onslaught, you actually need to build up your damage by either getting lucky, you know, applying Neuroshock, or first of all, throwing a special one, then building your power back up to a special two, just to get the type of damage that Kate would need one special one for, you know? Like, it, Onslaught, you actually have to build it up. The only time you don't have to build up his damage is, you know, when you utilize his utility and you're fighting against uh, Incinerator Shock, because if that's on you, then your Neuroshock will just start applying on its own since that's, he's taking energy damage. But outside of those specific scenarios, like, you actually have to build up his damage. Whereas Kate, one special one, pew, you're done. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It takes a lot more effort to build up Onslaught. And it takes longer in a generic fight than Kate.
You mean on attack? Then sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm just talking about uh, attack. Onslaught on defense is a, is a whole different topic. Do you watch UFC? Um, For a long time, not really, no. But I have been getting into it more lately. Um, Still not like an, an avid watcher, but more and more lately now, for sure, yeah. I've been following some fighters. Like uh, Sean Strickland. I think that guy is quite the character. Uh, do you love cats? How much and why? Um... I don't know if I'd say I love cats. I like them. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely a dog person, but I do like cats. I, I would like a cat one day for sure. Can I say Bullseye also saved the mutant class because of him? Everyone ranks Iceman, Emma, Toad, etc. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Peter? How you been, legs? I've been doing really good lately, man. Have you been? Are you coming back to MCOC? Uh, that game died a while ago. What game? All about that MCOC. <laughs> Does Black Cat need Awaken Billy? Nah, she's fine without it. Uh, legs how awesome is it to watch mcdavid live big hockey fan but never got to see him play yet oh dude it's awesome and uh, the last hockey game i went to i was actually sitting glass side for the first ever time dude it was it was unlike anything unlike any hockey game i've ever been to because like before you know when i go to a hockey game i like my i've gone with my dad and he gets tickets from work and the seats are like pretty good you know they're lower bowl but like you're still quite a quite a ways away like from the glass and so that's like as close as i've been you know it's like lower bowl before and, it, and it's awesome and it's, you know it's so much better like that opposed to you know like watching it like at home you know but once i was actually sitting in front of the glass like i could actually see the players i could actually see their faces like i could actually like there were actual human beings in front of me and not just, you know, these famous athletes from afar. Like when I was sitting from the glass, like, holy crap, those are real human beings right in front of me. And I can see their faces. Like it was, it was so cool, man. It, oh, it was, it was, it, it it's, it's going to ruin my experience now when I go to another hockey game. Cause it's, that's not like sitting at the glass because it's, it's going to be so different. It's going to be zoomed out again. But man, it was an experience. And especially seeing McDavid too, man. Oh, he was scoring goals that night. He's so funny, bro. His interview where he tells kids to go back to work. Was that like when, in another language? I, dude, oh my God. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> uh, who's the most busted character in the game balance wise? Um, I would say Herc and Kitty um herc for his immortality because you can prolong it indefinitely pause it you know and really use that at one percent and then kitty because while she is phasing she is indestructible once kitty's awakened her phase is the exact same thing as a passive indestructible and with with the tiger synergy i mean synergies don't really matter too much in MCC, you know, in 2024. But when Kitty came out, synergies definitely mattered a lot back then. And this synergy with Tiger, man, is just unreal. Basically, all you have to do is build a 10 prowess with Kitty. And then every single time that you dash forward, you're triggering your, your phase, which, like we said, is an indestructible passive. Also, you're triggering an unblockable passive. So once you get to 10 prowess, you pretty much just go into god mode, take no damage, and are pretty much perma unblockable. And it, it is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But since, you know, synergies can't be used in battlegrounds, and health matters so much in battlegrounds, immortality and Kitty's indestructible, you know, aren't really broken when it comes to battlegrounds. Uh, it's other parts of the game that they really break 
So it really depends what part of the game you know we're talking about. Been good graduating in a couple months. Might come back after I'm done. Not sure. Okay, dude, that's great. Yeah, just focus on uh, school for now. Leggies doesn't love cats. He loves black cat. She's his number one most smashable. That is true. Um, my thing with cats is when I was a kid, my uh, my aunt and their family had they had a couple cats. And one of them was old. Now, when I say old, I mean like me now. I am 24 years old right now. You know, that cat, when I was a little kid, was like the age I am now. This cat was over 20 human years old. Okay, so this is an old cat. And me, I was like, I don't know, six, seven, eight years old at the time, right? And... When I was a kid, you know, I just loved animals. Like, I just wanted to pet them and everything. And so, you know, I just want to go pet the cat. And it would hiss at me, claw. Like, I'm just trying to pet it. I'm being nice. But this cat was not nice. Very mean to me. It, I remember it bit me at one point. Um, you know, in the cat's defense, it was very old. And um, my dad, I'm pretty sure, when like years, like a decade before I was like even born, you know, when this cat was younger, my I'm pretty sure my dad hit it with a dart by accident, completely by accident. They were playing darts and the cat like kind of got in the way, but I, th I think my dad did end up hitting that cat with a dart. So maybe the cat held that against me. I don't know, but that was like my very first ever experience with a cat. And it was a negative one. So I think for that reason, that's kind of just why I've always liked dogs more. But like, I haven't really had any negative cat experiences since. Like, I'll actually, like, I've dated a few girls and they had cats. And this one girl I dated, like, I would hang out at her house and she had two cats. And I loved to just play with them. Like, they were, they were one was like really tiny and just so sweet. And it, and it seemed to like me. It always sit next to me. It was great. So I definitely do like cats. I feel like the thing with cats, though, is like, I feel like you can get unlucky and just get not like a bad cat, but like just a bad personality for a cat, you know, or maybe just a personality that you're not looking for in a cat. But because like I've seen some crazy cat videos, but then I've also seen like some videos of just like the sweetest cats ever. So like, I guess I would just be a little bit worried that I might get a cat personality that I'm that I would clash with or something, you know? I don't know. But I definitely like cats. We love a good phaser, indeed. Cats differ so much. Some cats are awesome and some cats are the worst. But yeah, exactly. Like, they're just, they're so different. Yo, Vincent, just sent over. Dude. I was planning on ending the stream, like... 20 minutes ago, but I was just having a good time talking with you guys. <laughs> Vincent, man, thank you so much. That is unreal, bro. Holy crap. Jeez, dude. I I am so thankful. Thank you so much, Vincent. That's unreal, bro. When the cats are cuddly, it's the best thing. Yeah, my cat is the nicest and most chill cat ever she's sleeping in my chair right now see that sounds awesome that's the kind of cat i would love to have vincent you're crazy i did say i wanted to do 300 dude thank you so much man thank you thank you thank you Hey, Legs, first new in war. You guys have done well. I don't want to spoil anything, but I saw your fights. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, all my fights were going perfectly until the last one. And then uh, I I had full health, and I died to one special three. Just all my life, gone. I had no hits left on my indestructible boost. Sucked. Let's actually check the, the, the score on war now. We looking okay seven to four now yeah my titania got one shotted by a bishop like you doing any war vids uh not really we we haven't been um 
keeping like usually in four loki we keep track of our stats every season and you know do our power rating and that kind of stuff i'm sure you guys have seen that from my old war videos but like we're not even keeping track this season because this season just sucks you gotta go all out with tits no need to bait specials yeah darth ghost i i should have either been patient and baited the special or just went all in instead i went in then i backed off tried to bait and then i went back in and tried to finish and it just yeah i, I should have just picked one or the other yo wayne wayne just in over 10 not as big as vincent but i'm happy with my size yo wayne wayne thank you very much for the 10. hey man it's it's not all about the size it's about the motion in the ocean I love you guys. Hey, I love this community, man. We're getting one tier higher rewards, right? Yeah. So wherever you are in war right now, like wherever you end, you're, you're going to get bumped up a tier. So like if we end in Platinum 1, we're going to get Masters Top 20 Alliance rewards, which is awesome. It's really awesome. If you use full recoil, they're basically guaranteed dead. Oh, yeah. I didn't have any points in recoil, man. That Yeah, he definitely would have been dead if I did. Damn. Yeah, I really hope I don't cost us this war because of that. I don't feel make me feel bad. All right, but um, yeah, guys, I don't have really, I don't really have anything else to open. I don't really have anything else to do on this stream today. So I think that's it. Anyway, I think I would have been assigned them the fights, but I was offered to take Killmonger. Oh, okay. It's all good, man. Uh, honestly, I think I should have just used Hulkling for that Bishop fight instead of Titania. I wanted to, but I was like, no, I was assigned Titania, so I decided to stay with her. But yeah, it's all good. We're going to get Masters either way, which is nice. See you later, Pete. Do a poll series. Well, guys, the plan is to come back tomorrow for another stream um and we're going to be doing the tier list so we're going to work on the the april tier list together on stream we're going to be doing a ton of polls to figure out where characters where they should be landing especially the new champs um for for serpent and destroyer they'll be the new additions plus some buff champs so yes be on the lookout on the channel for tomorrow guys we'll be going live in the afternoon um a lot earlier than than today's stream so yeah be on the lookout for that um and yeah that's pretty much going to do it we, we smashed out zone 25 we did need to use some units about 150 units on a team revive it's all good though um this was a really really fun stream thank you guys so much for hanging out and just the the massive the biggest the gigantic of shout outs to vincent chris keon am i saying that right i don't know that's a interesting last name but vincent thank you so much bro for all of the big donations man I, I don't even know what else to say other than thank you but thank you so much and um yeah we'll be back tomorrow for a tearless stream for the first ever time i'm really excited about it hope to see you guys there uh, uh abdo raid oh yes 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 let's do a raid for sure it's about to end it's right after though he's also doing his own 25 push solo we should have done it together. We both pro procrastinate. Okay, we're gonna hit him with a procrastinator raid or something. Yeah, pro procrastinator raider. Procrastinator raider. That's what we're gonna hit Abdo with because we both procrastinated incursions to the final day. All right, that's gonna do it once again. Vincent, thank you so much. You're the best. See you guys tomorrow for a tearless stream. Peace.